Bird, get, get back here. That's my present, dude. Not anymore, it's not. Why do you have to be so spoiled? I want this present. I should get presents. Well, you can get it on your own birthday. Wait, no, Kerm, be careful, dude. You want this present so bad, try and get it from me. Ah, uh, fine, I will. <laughs> ah! I don't understand why my brother hates me so much. It's not cool. All right, Logan, the car's out front. Come on, let's go. All right, Dad. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Look at how stupid you look. Hobbling around. Whoa, my name's Logan. You do realize that you're the one that did this to me, right? I'm not the one that told you to ran into the street like an idiot. All right, boys, just cool it, okay? No, I don't want to cool it. Kurt's supposed to be my big brother. I don't get why he hates me. He ruined my birthday, Dad. Oh, my gosh, it's just your stupid birthday, literally. Literally, no one cares. Also, I hate you because of how annoying you are. I'm not annoying. You're annoying. The only person you care about is yourself. Ugh, this is so boring. Dad. Dad. What, Kurt? I want ice cream. Come on. Can we go get ice cream? I don't want to get ice cream. I'm in a lot of pain right now. I just want to go home. No. I want to go get ice cream, and I want ice cream now. Kurt, calm down. I am not going to calm down. Ugh, it's so stupid. I want ice cream. Ugh. What is wrong with you? Yeah, I know. I just thought, you know, since it's the anniversary of, well, since mom's been gone, I wanted to use the leftover birthday money to take us out to dinner. That's really, really thoughtful of you, Logan. Thanks. Yeah, I just can't believe it's been three years now. I know. Think about your mother every day. My best friend and the love of my life. I, I miss her a lot. Ugh, this restaurant is terrible and the service is trash. Well, hey, it's the best that we got. All that matters is that we're together, Kurt. No, this place is cheap and it's a dump. If anybody sees me here, I'm going to be so embarrassed. Well, I don't know what to tell you, man. It's not like I have a lot of money. I just wanted to do something nice for you guys. You are doing something nice for us, Logan. Kurt, you need to relax. <sighs> I just hate being around him. So dumb. Hey, you, employee. What? What do you want? Look, I'm really hungry, okay? And I need to jet soon because this place is trash. I'll have the lobster with the steak and extra truffle fries and a large Coke. We don't have either of those things. You do realize that, right? What do you mean you don't have those things? Um, we don't have those things. Kurt, get over here, dude. Stop that. No, I want lobster and steak and I want it now. This place is awful. Calm down, man. You're causing a scene. Get down from the table. Oh no, Kurt. Come on. No, this is so dumb and you're stupid. I can't believe you brought me here. This is ridiculous. Man, I need to talk to him and just see what's up with him. Kurt. Not now, nerd. I'm busy. Dude, what's been up with you lately? I just don't understand you. It's probably just because you're too dumb to understand. Now leave me alone. No, man. I'm not going to leave you alone. I'm your brother and I love you. I just don't get why you hate me, dude. You've been acting so spoiled lately. Oh my gosh, you are such a crybaby. You're just jealous because I always get what I want and you get nothing because you're a loser. I'm not a crybaby. The most important thing right now is we stick together, especially after we lost mom. That's what she would want. Don't you understand that? Of course I understand that. She was my mom too, you know. I miss her a lot. Well, it doesn't seem like it when you prioritize a steak order over family quality time. Look, what you're doing right now is just pathetic. Yeah, that's rich, Kurt, coming from you. <laughs> There's nothing rich about you. You're poor. I just want to have a normal relationship with my brother. Look, just stop trying to bond with me, okay? You don't get me and you never will. Wow. Okay. If that's how it's going to be, then fine. I tried. Oh, man, the news is going to drop any second now. I know, dude. We're finally going to find out who's class president. It's probably going to be you. Well, I really hope so. What do you mean you hope so? You've always done really well at school. You're super nice to everybody. You're totally going to win. Thanks, Brendan. That means a lot. Well, plus, my best friend is class president. <laughs> It'll be awesome. All right, all right. We have the announcements here for the school's new class president. Drum roll, please. Gene? Uh, all right, she's not here. Anyway, uh, Logan is the new class president. Dude, I did it. I told you. All right, well, we have to go celebrate. Yeah, we should probably hit up the arcade after school and then go get some pizza and then play some basketball or something. Yeah, man, I'm down for whatever. Congratulations, the man. You totally deserve it. Logan is the new class president. What? He's class president? Oh, I hate that idiot. Yo, dude, since you're class president now, can you make it mandatory that we have like an hour's worth of video game playing ever? day. I don't know about that, but I'll see what I can do. I just can't believe I still won. Ah, uh, you're just being modest. You work super hard for it, man. Well, if it isn't the stupidest president on the planet. All right, Kurt, what do you want, man? I'm hungry. Go buy me lunch. Oh, this guy again? Shut up, nerd. I wasn't talking to you. Don't even look at me in the eyes. You know what, Kurt? That's it. I'm tired of you being a jerk, okay? Why would I want to buy you lunch? You can go buy your own food. No, I want you to buy me lunch, and I want you to buy it now. Well, too bad, man, because I'm not going to do it. Yeah? 
Well, now that you're class president, you think you're better than me? Is that what it is? No, that's not it at all. I'm just not going to be your servant. Do whatever you want. I am your older brother, and you are going to do exactly what I want. Hi, yeah, I'm taking this, and the class president's going to pay for it. Later, nerds. Hey, Kurt, what's your problem? Oh, my gosh. Man, I'm sorry, but your brother is such a jerk. No one at school likes him. Yeah, it's whatever. I have to deal with him, but for now, I got to go pay for his food. Logan, I have to have a conversation with you right now. Now. Um, what's going on, Dad? Your brother came home and told me you won class president, and you cheated. I cheated? How do I cheat becoming a class president? That doesn't make any sense. I don't know. Why don't you tell me, hmm? Well, I didn't do it, Dad. You should know that. Kurt probably just lied to you. Why would your brother lie about something like that? He also told me that you were stealing food from school. I give you lunch money every day. How is that possible? This is not right at all. Kurt stole the food, and I had to pay for it. You gotta watch out for Kurt. He's manipulating you, Dad. I am a grown adult, Logan. You don't tell me who I can trust. And you need to listen to me when I talk to you. Is that clear? Yes, Dad. Kurt's older. He's supposed to look after me. Instead, he's trying to frame me for these things. You two are brothers that are supposed to take care of each other no matter what. I can't believe you're talking back to me. Ugh. You know what? You're grounded, mister. Dad, this isn't fair. Oh, and now you're going to tell me how to be a parent? Unbelievable. Go to your room. Dude, this is just awful. I don't deserve this at all. I shouldn't have gotten grounded. Kurt should have been. It's fine, though. I got to think positively, all right? Things are just gonna get better. I'll be fine. Hey, Logan, we need to talk. Uh, yeah, Principal Peters, what happened? Just follow me this way. Wait, what? what's going on? Why is Kurt here? Well, Kurt told me that you have been stealing all of the old classwork, and that's why you've been doing so well. I knew your grades were a little too suspicious. Wait, you, you can't be serious, right? This has to be a, a, a sick joke. Principal Peters, I told him not to do it. He just did it anyway, so he wouldn't listen to me. No, 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 this is all an act. Trust me, sir, I would never do anything anything like this. Really? This is an act, huh? Who am I supposed to believe? The older responsible brother or the younger naive brother? You don't deserve any of the A's that you have right now. I've been doing my work fair and square. This is ridiculous. Logan, you know I worked really hard on my schoolwork. It's not fair that you take it and get the credit. Yeah, now I know why your brother's been having bad grades too. You know what? This is ridiculous behavior and it won't be tolerated here. Sir, just please listen. I'm done listening. You're suspended, okay? And you can no longer be the class president. <laughs> Ugh, Kurt you're just you're the worst brother alive, you know that? I'm gonna prove both of you guys wrong. Just wait. And you're gonna regret this, I promise. I just wish you were here. You'd believe me. Things would just be so much easier. Kurt's been acting awful lately, and I just I, I don't get it. I wanna be a good brother to him and just have us all be a happy family, but right now it just seems impossible. Please, if you're listening to this, can you just send me a sign? Anything? I need hope right now, and I just it doesn't seem like there is any for me. And I know that Kurt's upset that you're gone too. Just like I am, but I don't see that as a reason to treat other people badly. Oh. Aw, Logan loves his PS5 so much. <laughs> we'll see how much he loves it when it's broken. Kurt, what are you doing? Get away from that. Seriously? Trying to tell me what to do now? You're so pathetic. That's it. I've had enough. From my birthday party, to me being in crutches, to the dinner, to school, now this? Dude, you're the worst person in this entire world. Oh my gosh, you're being such a crybaby, Logan. This thing is so stupid. Just as stupid as being class president. Yeah, but you don't have to worry about that anymore because you got me removed from that, too. You're an awful brother, man. <laughs> <laughs> you should have seen the look on your face when Principal Peters told you you were suspended. It was so funny. Yeah, and look at you. You don't even care. You're selfish, and you only care about yourself. You're right. I only care about myself because I'm the most important person there is. You're nothing. Just get used to it. Dude, if mom were here right now, she'd be so disappointed in you. Don't you dare talk about mom like that. You don't know anything. Really? You think she would be proud of you? Hey, stop touching me. I told you to shut up. That's it. I've had enough. <laughs> Yeah, this is my new apartment. What do you guys think? Not too shabby for your first place, Logan. Really proud of you. Kurt, what do you think? I don't know. This place smells weird. And it's like really outdated. Well, it's the best I can get. Man, I'm just so tired from moving all these boxes. Yeah, Kurt, you think you could actually give us a hand and help us out? Uh, yeah, no, I don't think so. It's all right, Dad, don't worry. I'm just happy I have my own place to live now. Yeah, this is so dumb. Dad, I want my own place to live. Oh, boy, not this again. It's not fair Logan gets to move out first. I'm the older brother. I should have my own place. Well, I was able to get my own place because I worked for it, Kurt. You should try to do the same. Dad, you hear the way he's talking to me? 
he's so mean. All right, boys, this is enough. I'm really sick and tired of your arguing. Well, I wouldn't argue with him if he wasn't such a jerk. Dad, I want my own apartment. Then stop asking people for it and just get it on your own, dude. You're being so spoiled right now. Do you know how annoying that is? You know how annoying your big stupid face is? I don't even want to look at it anymore. Boys, I, I don't feel so good. Whatever, have fun in your dumb, stupid, poor apartment. I'm gonna get a much better one anyways. Dad, are you okay? It's my, uh, my heart. I, I, uh... Uh, Dad? Dad! Okay, calm down. We need to call 911 right now. Hey, Dad, uh, how are you holding up? Are you okay? I'm uh, not feeling so good, Logan. Doctor said I had a heart attack and I'm actually really sick. Oh, man, I'm so sorry. I'll be right here for you, I promise. What you need to do is be there for your brother. I am sick and tired of the two of you fighting all the time. Oh, man, my chest hurts. Stop yelling, Dad. You need to calm down. It's not my fault that Kurt hates me. He's just acting so spoiled. I'm trying to help out the best I can, but... But enough is... Is enough. You need to put all this behind you. No matter what, he is your brother and you need to protect him just as much as he needs to protect you. Got it? Dad, uh, ugh, the food court in this hospital is so lame. Sorry, Dad, I couldn't get you a jello cup like you asked. Ah, whatever, it's fine. Look, Dad, I'm really sorry you're sick. It's gonna be okay, kid. Here, just take some money, all right? Go take your brother out for dinner. <sighs> do I have to? Yes, you do. <sighs> fine, whatever. Come on, idiot, let's go. Oh, man, it's getting late. Where's Kurt at? He was supposed to meet me here. Hey, Kurt, where are you at? How did you even get this number? You're my brother, man. Obviously, I'm gonna have your number. Where are you? Uh, I had to run to the Gucci store and get a couple things. What's it to you? What do you mean, what's it to me? We were supposed to have dinner. Oh, yeah. I already bought some food, and I'm using the rest of the money to buy some Gucci slides. Maybe a new shirt. You can't be serious right now. You realize Dad's in the hospital, right? All he wants is for us to get along. Yeah, no, I thought about that, and I realized that you're a total loser, and Gucci is way cooler. Yeah, and look at you. Now you're spending all Dad's money on useless items. It's not useless, okay? The Gucci slides go on your feet as shoes, dum-dum. Oh, yeah, one sec. I'll be right with you. Kurt, did, uh, he just hung up on me. Man, I don't know why I ever thought we can get along. At least I can take my mind off of all this family stuff at work. I'm really excited. I think I'm gonna move up in the company soon. Hey, Logan, I just wanted to say good job with the expense report the other day. Whew, that one was clean. Thanks, I really appreciate it. You know, we're really happy to have you on the team. You're already one of our top salespeople. You know, I think you got a real bright future here and uh, oh hold on getting a phone call uh logan says you've got someone waiting for you outside outside wait what I i'm sorry uh, i'll be right back i'll go check who it is uh, what do you want kurt i ran out of money and i need more give me your credit card you do realize i'm at work right now right i'm not just gonna give you my money that i'm working for you know if i cared about your opinion i'd ask for it give me your debit card now sorry man that's not gonna happen why can't you just go get a job and you're supposed to be the older brother you realize that right yeah obviously i realize that i'm not stupid you're the worst brother on the planet. It's not fair. Look, man, this is ridiculous. I'm at work. I gotta go. Why are you being so selfish? Ever since mom died, you've been the worst. Don't start with me right now. Just leave me alone, Kurt. I have a career I need to focus on. Yeah, well, go focus on your career. Leave your brother alone and pour on the street. What a great guy you are. Oh, dad's gonna be stoked about my new car. So excited to see him and tell him all about it. Hey, dad. Hey, buddy. How's it going? It's good to see you. Yeah, it's good to see you, too. I'm happy that you're back home. Yeah, me, too. That hospital food was woo, awful. Hey, by the way, how did dinner go with Kurt the other night? Where'd you guys end up going? Yeah, that's the thing, Dad. I was waiting at the restaurant, and he decided to go to a Gucci store to spend your money instead. He did what? <sighs> Unbelievable. I knew I should have given you the money over him. Well, if I'm being honest, Dad, he's been acting so spoiled lately, and it's because he's been getting whatever he wants. All right, all right, look. I don't want the two of you fighting anymore, okay? Your job, you gotta put this behind you. No, Dad, I'm not just gonna sit here and let him act like this anymore. He's reckless. It's not fair that I have to work so hard, and he just can go out and buy Gucci. Look, your brother has been acting this way ever since your mom died. Yeah, well, guess what? That was years ago. You guys seem to forget that my mom died that day, too. And I'm not using that as an excuse to treat people however I want. Logan, look, I'm not gonna fight with you, okay? I'm sorry, Dad. I just came here because I want to show you something. Oh, what do you want to show me? Come here, check this out. Look, I got a brand new car. What? This is yours? Whoa! Logan, I am very proud of you. No, this car is not cheap. I've been working really hard for it. Well, it makes me feel good to know that you're able to take care of yourself. At least one of my kids can. Yeah. Yeah, hopefully Kirk can get a job or something soon. I don't know if your brother has it in him, honestly. I wish he would learn from you, though. What? Is he serious? Maybe uh, you could talk to your boss. Get your brother a job with you. I don't know about that. I don't think that's going to work out well. Look, Kurt only needs one opportunity, all right? Just, uh, just do it for me. Um, fine. After everything you've been through, you deserve that at least. I'll talk to my boss. So this is it, Kurt. This is the workplace. 
It looks so stupid and boring already. All right, well, dad really wanted you to have this job, okay? So you're gonna need to apply yourself and work hard. Please, any idiot could do this job, okay? It's not that difficult. Honestly, you should just do it for me. I already hate this already. Hey, Logan, breaking record sales yet again. Great job. Thanks, man. I really appreciate it. I want to take you out for lunch as a celebration. You've done really good. Yeah, you kidding me? That'd be awesome. I would love that. Yeah, that's great. Where are we going? It better be somewhere good. Kurt, can you knock it off? All right, this is professional. You knock it off. I'm so sick of you telling me what to do. Uh, hey, what is this guy's problem? <sighs> this is why we don't want to hire you in the first place. So what? This was just a pity hire because you felt bad for me? <sighs> You're unbelievable. All right. I can't have this in my office. You need to go. What? No. No, I'm not going anywhere. You gotta realize, dude, this is the real world and you can't just throw a tantrum every time something doesn't go your way. Man, your brother is so spoiled. <sighs> this is stupid and you're awful. You are literally the worst brother on the planet. Yeah, I'm really sorry about that. I knew this was a bad idea. Yeah, that was uh, not a good look, Logan. Well, lunch. We'll do it another time, okay? I gotta go to a meeting. I am so sick of Logan. Oh, he's so annoying. He just thinks because he's got this dumb job and he's super rich now. The whole world revolves around him. Well, it doesn't. I'm here too. It's not fair. He's always been the favorite child. Dad and mom both loved him way more than they've loved me. Once he came around, they completely forgot about me. I've been so alone. And everything's just so messed up. Look at this stupid fancy car of his. He thinks he's so much better than me. Look at him. He's so dumb. He left his keys in the car. <laughs> Gives me an idea. I'll show him. I'll remind him who's better than him. Me. Whoa! Oh, oh no! No! Oh, oh, oh man. I better go. That's it. Where is he? Where is he? Uh, Logan, calm down. W what's happening? No, I'm not gonna calm down. I'm sick of this. Where's Kurt? He stole my car, Dad. He did what? I can't believe him. Yeah, and also, Kurt got fired today too because he threw a tantrum at work. Uh, I should have known better. Man, this is so embarrassing. I'm trying, Dad. I really tried. I gave him every opportunity that he needed. And this is how he returns the favor? No, I'm not having it anymore. <laughs> Dad, Dad, are you okay? What's happening? Are you crying? Of course I'm crying, Logan. I feel awful. Imagine what your mom would say if she saw how you two turned out. Always fighting and arguing and everything. I know, Dad. I know. Just, just calm down, okay? It would break her heart. Like, my heart is hurting. Oh, my heart really, really hurts. Uh, Dad, are you okay? I, uh... Oh. No, no, not again. Uh, yeah, 911. I need an ambulance now. Are you okay, Dad? I don't know, son. It doesn't feel really good. It's okay. I'm, I'm here, okay? I love you. I'm sorry about all this that's happening. All right, we got to get him out of here now. This man's heart lane is dropping. We got to do something fast. Move out of the way. Oh, okay, please make sure he's okay. Please. This is ridiculous. I, I don't know why this is happening. We already lost mom. We can't lose dad, too. God, I, I got to call Kurt. Kurt? Yeah, what do you want? You need to come to the hospital right now. This is an emergency, man. I'm really busy. What is wrong? Like, it doesn't matter what you're doing, okay? Dad had another heart attack. There's a chance he's not going to make it out of this one, all right? You need to come to the hospital. What? No. No, that just can't be happening. What did you do? I'm not going to fight with you, dude. Just just get here now. Is everything all right, Doc? Look, uh, I'm sorry. We did all we could do. Your dad is gone. No. <laughs> no. It's just, this doesn't feel real. I, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to say. <laughs> Dad, why? Why now, Dad? Hey, man. Uh, how are you holding up? How do you think I'm holding up? Not good. Where's Mom and, you know, Dad? I'm all alone again. You're not alone, okay? I know we haven't been getting along, but you have me. We're family. Look, I know I've been a jerk, okay? I'll be fine. Once I have all the money that Dad has and everything gets given to me... I'll be fine. Wait, you're seriously sad right now because of how you're gonna be doing? You can't be serious. You're thinking about dad's money right now? What's wrong with you, dude? Well, everything's being left to me. I deserve it all anyways. I'm the older brother. You seriously don't have a heart. Dad loved us both. And before he was gone, guess what? He was worried about you. And all you're worried about is taking his money. I hope after all of this, you can live with yourself. Are we done cleaning this place yet? I've got other things I need to do. Of course you do, man. This is our home. You do realize that, right? Yeah, duh. I wasn't born yesterday. All right, well, 
Well, the faster we get all these things out of the house, the faster we can just sell it. We're not selling the house. Are you kidding? I live here still. This place belongs to me now. I deserve it. No, you don't, dude. You're barely here. And plus, if we sell it, we can both split the money evenly, just like dad would have wanted. Dad would have wanted to give everything to me. Ugh, I just hate you so much. Listen to yourself right now, man. It's not even reasonable. You have a job already. Why do you need the money? It doesn't matter if I have a job or not. I got the money I have from hard work. Just because I did that doesn't mean that you have the right to take all the money from dad. Well, it doesn't matter what you think or what you say because i want this house and i get what i want all right that's it man i'm done arguing we're just gonna have to talk to someone to see if dad had a will yeah whatever i don't really care it's probably gonna say everything goes to me anyways and nothing goes to you yeah we'll see about that kurt this is where i live this is my house so why don't you just get out <sighs> whatever man you make me sick. All right, Kurt's obviously not gonna help me out, so I gotta go to this bank to figure out what dad's finances actually were like. Excuse me? Oh, uh, yeah, how can I help you today? Yeah, I called you earlier. I'm here to talk about my dad's banking information. Oh, yeah, your name is uh, Logan, right? Yeah, I got the paperwork right here. Awesome, so what's the status? Well, the account looks like it's completely drained. There's nothing in it. Wait, what? How is that possible? Well, a while ago, your dad put your brother Kurt on the account. Looks like last night, he moved everything over to his personal one. That's ridiculous. That shouldn't be a Loud. I can't believe this. He's stealing my dad's money. Uh, unfortunately, sir, everything that he did was completely legal since he was on the account, too. There's nothing I can do? Honestly, no. Ugh. All right. Thanks anyway. Woohoo! This is awesome! Hey, Jerry! Make sure you go get some extra food, okay? This party's for all of us! Yep. I knew he wouldn't treat this place responsibly. Kurt! Ugh, who invited you? I certainly didn't. Listen, we need to talk outside now. What? I can't hear you. The music's too loud. Kurt! Now! <sighs> What is it? You're ruining my party. Yeah, well, you threw this party because you had the money to, didn't you? Can't believe you stole all dad's money. You calm down? The neighbors are around. No, I'm not going to calm down. We're supposed to split that and save it, okay? If dad knew that you were wasting all of it on these random people, you know how disappointed he'd be? Yeah, he'd be disappointed he's missing the awesome party, like I am. Well, how are we supposed to pay for the medical bills, huh? Did you even think about that? I'm not paying for anything. You can pay for it. You're just a selfish jerk, dude. Think about anyone else besides yourself for once. Well, why don't you think about me for for once, okay? You have no idea what I'm going through, so just shut up! We're brothers, man. We both lost the dad that day. You can't just use your sadness as an excuse to be a bad person. It doesn't matter what you say. Of course it doesn't. You know what? Just keep the money. Keep the house. Keep everything. But one thing that I want from you is for you to never talk to me again. Look at all the work I've done. Everything that I've accomplished. I'm so proud to be the owner of this company. And this is only the beginning. Hey, Logan. Congratulations on the promotion. That's sick. Thanks. I'm still shocked that I'm the CEO now. Yeah, you're the youngest CEO in this company's history. Breaking records every day, man. I know. I'm gonna keep working hard and treating everyone in this company well, I promise. Uh, speaking of that, there is some weird homeless guy that came in the lobby screaming earlier today. A lot of the employees are, uh, really unsettled. Oh no, is he gone yet? Uh, yeah, he's gone, but, uh, he was screaming that he needed to see you. Oh, well, I know exactly who that is. It's probably just my brother. If you see him again, just call the police, okay? He's dangerous. Now that I'm CEO, I'm still shocked that I can afford this place. Well, about time you came home. Kurt, what are you doing in here? You're not allowed here. Look, I need to talk to you, okay? For what? Let me guess. You need help from me again? Yeah, I do need your help. Well, you were the one that took all the money from dad, and you had a free house to live in. How are you able to lose all of that? Listen, it was hard, okay? I forgot to pay the bills, and I bought a lot of stuff with the money. I just lost track. That's all. Yeah, well, it's obvious that nothing's changed. You're still the same old, unresponsible person. So you're not gonna help me? I'm only gonna help you if you're willing to help yourself. What is that even supposed to mean? All right, you know what? If you can't see what I'm talking about, then just leave. <sighs> I knew it shouldn't have come to you. You just don't understand. No, Kurt, you don't understand. Logan keeps calling me selfish? He's the one that's selfish. Such a jerk. He has a big, nice house, and he won't even let me stay in, like, a closet or anything? <sighs> Whatever. You know what? Maybe for the first time, he was right. Maybe I do need to change. I mean, look at me. I'm literally homeless. I have nothing. I have no one. Oh, I just don't think Logan's ever gonna forgive me, though. What's the point? Shouldn't even bother. Wait, what? Mom? Hi, sweetheart. Mom? <laughs> Am I going crazy? No, you're not going crazy. Oh my gosh, it's, it's you. I miss you so much. I've missed you too. But Kurt, I need to tell you, I have watched you ruin your life for way too long. You need to change. <laughs> That's what Logan said. And your brother is right. You need to stop thinking of yourself and think about others, especially your family. I will, Mom. I, pr I promise. I love you, Kurt. Mom? Mom, wait, no! I want to change. <sighs> 
Logan, I want to change. And I want a job. What? Yeah, right, dude. I'm not trusting you. No. Logan, please just listen to me, okay? So what? You can lie to me again? No, I'm not lying. I ran all the way down here, and I wanted to tell you that I want to change. And I mean it this time. All right, well... If you want a job, then you're gonna have to earn it. I'm not gonna do the same thing that you always do. You come in here and you expect me to take care of it. You gotta earn what you get from now on. Yeah, fine. Whatever, I'll do it. So then, Kurt, go figure it out, all right? I'm done giving you things that I earned. So what? You're just not gonna give me a job? Are you serious? Remember, you were the one that got all the handouts in life, not me. So you can go figure it out for once. I'm finally asking you for help, and you just send me away? Goodbye, Kurt. I have a company I need to run. Ugh, whatever! No? What do you mean, no? You're what I said. You can't work here. This is a fine pizzeria. Yeah, and you're looking for help, and I need a job. So why won't you let me work for you? I mean, look at the clothes you're wearing, my guy. You're literally homeless. Th that doesn't mean anything. Yeah, it does, all right? I'm not gonna hire some guy off the streets. This pizza's the best of the best, okay? We didn't get 4.3 stars for nothing. This pizza is literally garbage, just like you. All right, well, now I'm definitely not getting you the job. You know what? That's fine. I don't want to work at this stupid place anyways. Hey, what are you doing? Shut up. This is mine now. Uh, uh someone call the cops. Uh, someone's robbing the place. Sorry, I just had to do this. There's no other way. Hey, what? What's that noise? Someone here? Uh, well, I could probably sell this, I guess. Won't get much for it. Are you seriously robbing me, Kurt? I knew it. I knew you didn't change. Uh, look, I'm sorry, okay? I don't know what to do. A sorry's not gonna cut it. It's not gonna change any of the actions you've been doing, dude. Yeah, obviously, okay? What else am I supposed to do? Just a failure. It's because of your own actions. Yeah, I know. Mom talked to me and said the same thing. Mom talked to you? What are you talking about? Yeah, think it was her at least. I don't know. It's like she came to me and told me she was tired of me messing up my life. And I'm tired. I'm messing up too. I keep trying and I keep failing more and more. And I just keep messing things up more. Yeah, well, look at you now, man. If mom really came to you, you took her advice and you decided to turn into a criminal. It's not too late for you to change your life. You just got to take a step in the right direction. Yeah, and I'm trying. Okay, I just don't know what to do anymore And I'm sorry, but I can't be the one to tell you You have to do it alone If you can, then I'll let you back into my life You've done a lot of harm to me, man A lot more than you think I wasn't paying attention before And I'm sorry I will do better, I promise I'll make this right Good, do me a favor Don't come back until you do Uh, excuse me, sir Yes, how can I help you? You work here, uh, in this office? Yes, I do Great, I need you to give this to your boss I give this to my boss? What is this? It's a gift for him. Tell him that it's from his brother and tell him that he changed his life around and this is the thanks that he owes him for the past. Uh, cryptic. Okay. Listen, just tell him to, uh, give me a call if he wants, but make sure you tell him his brother changed. Got it? Yeah. Got it. Hey, boss, uh, your brother was just here. He wanted me to give this to you. Wait, what? what is this? It's a bag full of money? He said that he changed and this was his thank you or something? Oh my gosh, he did it. Man, I can't wait to meet my new adopted brother. Wait a minute, Dad, is this him? Yes, it is, Levi. We just adopted him today. Meet Parker. Ew, this house is so small. I'm a billionaire. I can't live here. Guys, no, wait. This is Parker Stoneshire. He picks on me at school all the time. Well, uh, you two are gonna learn to get along. Ugh, this sucks. My new family is poor. My brother is this stupid loser. Ugh, I just hate everything. Well, will this make you feel better? Yeah, whatever. So where's my stupid room? Uh, it's inside. Why don't you go show him, Levi? <laughs> Fine, come with me. Well, this is it. This is your room. What? No, no way. I'm a billionaire. This is too small and poor. Ugh. I don't know what to tell you, man. This is it. Just take it or leave it. Yeah, I don't think so. What is this? This is my room. Well, not anymore. This is going to be my room now, even if it is small. No way, dude. Back off. Just take the other room and deal with it. I don't think so. Mom! Is everything okay? No, it's not. I want this room to be mine, but Levi is being mean. Maybe you can move to the spare bedroom. No, that's going to be my closet. Mom, you can see that he's being ridiculous. I'm not moving. Look. We have to make Parker comfortable. He's going through something right now. You can sleep on the couch or in the garage. What? No, dude, you're a jerk, you know that? Okay, boys, your mother is out with her friends, so it's just us for dinner tonight. What? No, I'm not eating here. Dude, why not? It's just pizza. This is poor people food, and I refuse to eat it. Okay, so where would you like to eat, Parker? 
This place? This is the most expensive restaurant in town. You can't be serious. Obviously, this is my favorite place to eat. Welcome back, Mr. Parker. I want my usual table. Yeah, well, I don't know what to tell you. It's been taken by the mayor, sir. Then have him kicked out. Uh, uh, of course, uh, sir, uh, right away. Yeah, but I don't know what to tell you two because you guys are obviously not dressed appropriately for our establishment. Let my new dad in, but kick this loser out. What? Yep, very good. All right, you'll have to leave, dude. I don't know what to tell you. Ah, back off, man. Parker's your new brother? You're joking, right? That guy's the biggest bully in school. Yeah, I know. And now I have to deal with him, dude. So what are you going to do about it? I don't know. I just, I have to figure it out. Hopefully, he'll be a little nicer now. Oh, look at that. It's the biggest losers in the school. Why do they even let poor people in this place to begin with, man? I don't know, but we should teach him a lesson. Hey, ah! poor loser. What the heck is wrong with you, dude? Uh, I'm going to go get the teacher. You boys are in serious trouble. I won't let you get away with this again, Parker. You're suspended for a week. No, I'm not. Here's a thousand dollars. Suspend this poor loser instead of me. What? You can't just do that. Shut up, Levi. I'll take that. Levi, you're suspended for a week, and I'm calling your parents. Unless you have more money. This is insane. All right, I'll take that as a no. Get out of my office, both of you. I'm sick of you acting so spoiled and always getting your way. Yeah, well, get used to it. I always get what I want. Yeah, well, my parents are going to know the truth, dude. I don't care. Your parents are wrapped around my finger. They'll do whatever I want. I am so disappointed in you. I didn't do anything. It was Parker who punched me. Ugh, Parker this, Parker that. You've been terrible to your new brother. You need to give him a chance. Yeah, well, why should I give a chance to someone who just got me suspended? Because Parker is going through a tough time right now. He needs a break. I don't care. I'm not just going to let him have that excuse. He's a spoiled billionaire brat. What tough time could he be going through? Parker's family just died in a plane crash. His parents were on a private jet to Paris and it disappeared. They assume his family is dead. That's why we adopted him. Look, I had no idea. That's terrible. He lost his family like that? I would feel so lost without you and mom. Exactly. Just make him happy, okay, Levi? Be nice to him and be a good brother. <sighs> okay, I'll try. I want you both to get along and spend some time together. Can I have some money for some new clothes? Oh, uh, okay, here. Uh, can I have some too? No, you're still in trouble for getting suspended. Have fun, boys. Oh, great. So, what do you want to do first? Look, let's stop right here. I'm never going to be friends with you, so I don't care what you do. Just leave me alone. Dude, I'm not going to leave you alone, all right? You're in this family now, and I know about what happened with your parents, man. What? Shut up! Don't ever mention my parents again! We're never going to be friends! Dude, what are you doing hanging out with this loser? Uh, he's not with me. This poor person just followed me in begging for money. Come on, dude. Let's just go to the Gucci store. Yeah, <laughs> sounds like a good idea. Bye, poor loser! <laughs> Oh, come on. Man, this game sucks. Parker, can you play that in your room? I'm trying to study, man. Ugh, this TV's trash. I can't even play this game right because of the low quality. Boys, we need to talk. What's going on, Dad? Parker, put the game away. No, I'm on the last level. Parker, I said put the game away now. Ugh, fine. What do you want? Report cards came out today. Levi, you got honor roll in all your classes. I'm very, very proud of you. Thanks, nerd. Parker, you're failing almost all your classes. Can you tell me why? Because he never does his homework, that's why. Whatever, school's hard. I don't like it, so I don't care. If you're in this house, you're going to care. Levi, you need to help your brother get his grades up. No way, I'm not gonna get help from him. See, Dad, he wants nothing to do with me. I'm not gonna help him. Uh, fine then, Levi, you can get all of Parker's allowance. What? No, that's money. That's not fair. Then you'll let your brother tutor you, Parker, and you're going to start doing chores around here, too. What? No way. That's poor people stuff. I said what I said, and that is final.
Yo, dude, you wanna go watch the new Shane Plays video with me tonight? I can't. I have to tutor Parker after school. Ew, why? Look, I, I have to. He's failing and my dad wants me to help him out. Yeah, good luck with that. Where is he anyways? Ew, this place smells like books. It's gross. Dude, where have you been? Hanging out in the gym. Didn't want to come here. See, dude, he doesn't care at all. Ew, why don't you go away? Ugh, whatever, jerk. Are you ready to get started? Nah, I'm leaving. I'm gonna go hang out with Jacob. Dude, you better take this seriously or else I'm gonna tell dad and he's gonna be mad at you. You know what? I've got an idea. Why don't you just do my homework for me? Here, have some money too. You need to learn how to do your own work for once, man. You can't just depend on your wallet your entire life. Yeah, I can. You know what? Whatever. You don't get it. I'm out of here. Ew! Dude, what is this place? This shack? Ugh, I have to live here now. Yeah, what well, sucks? What happened to you, man? This is tragic. Look, I know, okay? We'll be here for like two seconds. I just gotta grab some money first. Yeah, well, you better hurry up, all right? I'm starting to become poor just standing here. Oh my gosh, shut up. Yep, definitely smells like homelessness. Yeah, I know. Come on, where the heck is it? Ugh, what? I'm out of money already? Oh no, the poor, it spread to you too, didn't it? Shut up, dude. I guess I can't go to the movie tonight. No way, man. We need to go, okay? Tiffany's gonna be there and I have to ask her out. You know this. Well, I have no money, so I can't go. Sounds to me like you're lame and poor, dude. You know, we shouldn't even be friends anymore. What? No, no, wait. I got an idea. Hold on. Yeah, here it is. I'll just take this. Yeah, well, good luck, dude, because poor people know when you take their money. So? I'll just blame it on my loser brother. Sweet! Sounds like a deal. Tiffany just got there. Come on, let's go. Levi, get downstairs now! What's going on? You tell me! Where did my money go? Money? What are you talking about? I had $200 in my wallet right here, and now it's gone! Come on, you can't be serious. You know I didn't take it. If you didn't take it, who did? What's up, Dad? Ew, why does everyone look so upset? Dad, why don't you ask Parker where your money went? I'm sure he'll know. Parker, did you take my money? I haven't been home all day. I was out with my friend, so it couldn't have been me. Yeah? Then where'd you get that new shirt? I've always had this shirt. Plus, I'm rich. Doesn't matter. Well, someone took my money, and I've just about had it. Dad, you know Levi's been super mean to me. You know, I bet it was him that took the money. Oh, well, that's just a lie, man. You know what? Enough. Levi, I can't believe you would steal from me. You seriously believe him? You know what? You're grounded. And give me your phone. You go to your room right now. Wow, I cannot believe this. Awesome, three points. Yeah, good job, man. Dude, where have you been? You could have easily stopped me. Are you even trying? Yeah, sorry, man. I've been thinking a lot. About your dad? Yeah, man. Look, ever since Parker's gone there, he always has been siding with him. It's like he doesn't even believe his own son anymore. Parker is a total loser for getting you in trouble, dude. Yeah, and it's obvious that they have a favorite son, and it's not me. No way, man. Parker's gonna mess up eventually, and then your parents are gonna see the truth. I heard you losers say my name. Why are you talking about me? Because you're a jerk? Go away and go beg for money on the street, you poor loser. Parker, I'm not gonna tell you twice to just leave. No, I came here on business. I need your help with school again. You're crazy, I'm not gonna help you. You have to help me. I'm gonna get in serious trouble if my grades don't improve. Yeah? Well, why don't you just pay off the teachers like you used to then, huh? I can't, because I'm broke now. I won't get my inheritance until I'm 18 years old. Yeah, well, it sounds like a you problem. You better start working hard because I'm not helping. Levi, you have to help me. No, you did this yourself, so deal with it. Ugh, whatever. You're gonna regret this and I'll make sure of it. Levi Strong, please report to the principal's office immediately! What the heck is that about? What's going on here? You're a terrible liar, Levi. That's what's going on. Uh, I don't understand. Parker has been caught copying your homework, and he claims that you let him do it. It's true. 
I asked Levi for help, and he made me copy his homework instead of helping me. Dude, that's the worst lie ever. I tried to help him, but he refused. I have no choice. You both get detention for a week. And Levi, if you get in trouble again, you'll be expelled. Understood? Yes, sir. Now get out of my office so I can continue watching my show. Ugh, I hate kids. So, dude, did you ask out Tiffany yet or what? Yeah, but she said no, but it's like whatever, dude. She's like a six and I'm like a nine. So I'm going to ask out Bridget instead. Parker, we need to talk. Yeah, no, sorry. No poor people allowed within 50 feet of us. Then you should leave. What? Dude, don't embarrass me in front of my friend. I don't care about that. What you did was messed up. I told you. You were going to regret not helping me. And look at what happened. Yeah, well, I tried, and you ditched me, man. You know what? I've had enough. What is your problem? You want to know what my problem is? Fine. I'm used to getting whatever I want, because that's what I deserve. Maybe you got away with all that with your billionaire parents, but they're gone. And it's time for you to face reality and grow up. Yeah? Well, if you know what's good for you, you're just going to give me what I want. No. No way, man. And if you keep this up, I'm warning you. I'm not going to have your back. And you'll be alone. Ugh, you're a terrible brother. Yeah, well, look in the mirror, man. Whatever, just stay out of my way. Yo, happy 18th birthday, Levi, here. Thanks, dude. This party is awesome. So happy your parents still let you have it after, oh, you know. Yeah, with Parker getting in a lot of trouble lately, trust me, it almost didn't happen. Did you ask for Parker to be shipped off to Antarctica for your birthday? Come on, please tell me you did. No, but I probably should have. You losers are talking about me again, aren't you? And what is this? They all say Levi on them. Where are my presents? Uh, you're not getting any, dude. It's my birthday, not yours. Ugh. If I don't get them, then no one gets them. Ha! Ha! Stop it, Parker. You're acting like a five-year-old. Hey, hey, hey. What's going on here? Whoa. Why are these presents destroyed? Levi did it. What? Parker just did that. Why would I destroy my own presence? Levi, have you lost your mind? You flipped out because I wanted to see your gifts and he won't share, Dad. You selfish brat. You know what? Party's over. Everybody go home. Levi's being a stinky brat. Parker ruined my party and now I have to clean up? How can my dad not see that this isn't fair? Wait, what? What's going on? Hey, Parker, come on. Come on outside. Check this out. Whoa, no way. Yep, this is for you, Parker. I hope you like it. Thanks, Dad. I mean, it's not the right color, but I guess it'll do. Wait, what the heck, Dad? You bought him a car? Oh my gosh, Dad, look. Levi's just so jealous of me. Give me one reason, Dad. Give me one reason why he deserves this. Because he just does. He had a hard time today. You know what? Thanks for the car, Dad. I'm gonna go. Bye. Dad, how can you not see what he's doing? You just made a huge mistake right now. Uh, maybe it was a mistake. I mean, I just spent all my savings on that car. I really hope Parker likes it. You need to wake up, Dad. You're just giving in to him and spoiling him. But he has no family, Levi. I, I just want him to feel loved, that's all. Yeah, well, at some point, he's taking advantage of you. You know what? I'm over this. Jacob, come on, get out here, you loser. Whoa, sweet car, dude. I know. It's a shame that you can't afford one. Okay, calm down. Where'd you get it, huh? I thought you were poor now. Shut up. Made my new dad buy it for me. Want to go for a ride? Sure. Let's get sushi or something. But I want to drive. All right, fine. Sweet. Let's go. Oh, by the way, dude, Bridget said yes, dude. <laughs> All right, hey, slow down, man. What's wrong? Are you scared, baby? I'm not scared. It's just my new car. So as I was saying before you rudely interrupted me, I asked Bridget on a date and she said, ah! What the heck, you losers? This is my only car. Oh my gosh, you guys are so stupid. You know what? You're under arrest for reckless driving. About time you got me out of there. That place sucked. I don't want to hear it. I just had to pay $5,000 to bail you out of jail. So what? So what? I'm not made of money, Parker. And you crashed the brand new car I bought you? That is not how this world works. You know what? You're getting a job. 
and so is Levi. What? Why me? Because the both of you need to learn how to work hard and start earning your own money. Yeah, uh-uh, no way. Working is for poor people and I'm not doing that. Well, you both better get jobs or you'll be on the streets. It's time to grow up. Whoa, why is dad so upset? It's just a car. Dude, you're so blind. Do you have any idea what you just did? No. That's your problem, dude. Dad is going broke because of you. You're ungrateful, spoiled, and you only care about yourself. Hey, that's not true. Yeah, it is. So wake up. Here you go. Have a great day. Whoa, Levi, you've been doing a great job, Hugh. Thanks, Quimby. Usually, we're all like miserable here, you know? <laughs> but you've been a great addition to this team. Well, I'm happy that I could get the job and even bring my brother on board. Yeah, speaking of that, where is your brother, huh? Where's Parker? Uh, he should be out back stocking the beans. Yeah, well, he better not mess up, dude. This is a five-star coffee place, all right? We don't want to lose that star. Ugh, this job is so stupid. Why am I even here? Dude, you were supposed to be here five hours ago. Whatever. I hate this. Yeah, well, why don't you just give it a shot, okay? Try something for once. What? Huh. You think I'm lazy, don't you? Yeah, because you are, and you're spoiled. Oh, yeah? Dude, what is wrong with you? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Levi, you just spilled all this coffee. Are you insane? Whoa, I heard coffee spilled. Is everything okay over here? Ah! Oh, my back! Oh, my back! Oh, my goodness! Quimby, are you all right? Do I look like I'm all right? Well, Levi's the one that did it. No way, Parker did it. Yeah, well, you guys both probably did it on purpose just to make a laughing stock out of me. You're both fired. Now get out. I am so beyond disappointed with the two of you. You're both going to get new jobs and start acting like real adults, not big, stupid babies. Wait, where are you going? I'm taking your mother out for dinner. I don't get it. Why is he always so mad? It's because he cares about us, man. He cares about us? I'm not used to that. What? What are you even talking about? Your parents gave you everything. Yeah, but they would just, like, ignore me. They would miss all my school activities. They never spent time with me. They just threw money at me if I wanted anything. Yeah, well, I guess that makes sense, Parker. That sucks. Yeah, it did. Honestly, I never really thought my family loved me to begin with. Well, you have one here that's trying to, okay? And you gotta give him the chance. You need to be nicer. Yeah. Oh, well, okay. I... I'll try, I promise. See, man? It's easy. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. This would never be caught dead doing this before. Well, that was then, and this is now. Just give it a shot. Ugh, come on, I hate this. Levi, you just do it. No, Dad wants you to do it. Just put in some effort and try. All right, fine. Uh, uh, okay, I think I did it. Wow, the lawn looks great, Levi. Good job. Actually, Dad, Parker did it on his own this time. Wow, great job, son. You know, I'm really proud of you. Here. Whoa, 50 bucks? That's it? Dude, come on. Oh, right. Uh, oh, wow. Uh, thanks, Dad. Good job. Keep up the good work. See, dude, it wasn't so bad, and you actually earned that money. Yeah, it wasn't so bad after all. What's up? Are you all right? I'm just shocked. I don't think anyone's ever said they were proud of me before. Well, my dad is, and you know, I am too. Oh, thanks, dude. Oh my gosh! Parker, get inside, quick! Okay, okay, I promise it's real this time. Whatever it is, Dad, I didn't do it. No, Parker, come on, look at the TV. Welcome back to the evening news. In a shocking turn of events, billionaire Walter Stoneshire and his wife Buffy have been found alive. Wait, what? Dude, your parents are still alive. Walter and Buffy have been vacationing on a remote island for the past several months and now have returned home to throw a massive party at their mansion. And you know that I'll be invited, of course. Wow, Parker, your, your family really is still alive. I thought they were dead. They were just on vacation. How do you feel about all of this? I feel incredible. Ugh, I can't wait to get out of this dump. Wait, what? You're just gonna ditch us now after everything we've done for you? Yeah, duh. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to get my old life back. It's gonna be so good. Parker! Are you okay, Dad? I, uh, I don't know, son. I don't know. 
So, like, your parents just, like, went on vacation and didn't take you? Yeah, I guess so. Well, they probably just forgot or something. Whatever, it's okay. All this means is that I'm rich again. Ah, oh, thank goodness, because I wasn't gonna be a friend anymore. Wait, what? Uh, yeah, dude, I don't hang out with poorsies, you know that. Ugh, speaking of poorsies, I'm out of here, dude. Dude, can we talk? Yeah, I guess. Make it quick. You hurt my dad's feelings last night. So what? So what? Do you not remember what we just talked about yesterday? My family adopted you, took care of you, and now you're just done with us? You just don't get it, Levi, okay? I just found out my family's still alive and that I get my old life back. Yeah, well, yesterday you told me that you hated your old life. You said your parents didn't even know you existed. You really want to go back to that? Yeah, well, it's better than being poor. I'll just give your parents some money and move back home. No, we don't want your money, Parker. Can't believe you, dude. You're turning back on people who cared about you. Oh my gosh, you're being so dramatic. Whatever, look, can you just drive me to my parents' party later? Fine, at least I'll get to say goodbye. All right, thanks, dude. Come on, dude, we're gonna be late. Are you sure you have everything? Yeah, I do. And um, if I forget anything, I'll just send my dad's butler to get the rest of the stuff. I'm, I'm gonna miss you, Parker. What? Y you are? We both will, son. We love you, and we just wish you the best. That's all. We're so happy that you're going back to your family. Well, if you're happy, why are you crying? We're crying? Oh, uh, we're just, um... We're just sad to see you go. That's all. Now, go have fun, and, and don't forget us, okay? Look, are you ready to go, man? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think so. What's going on? I thought you were happy leaving this place. I thought I was. I just think I'm gonna miss your mom and dad. Wait, seriously? I don't know. Maybe? Whatever. Just take me home. <sighs> right away, your majesty. Whoa, dude, this is your house? Yeah, it's one of them. This is one of the smaller ones, though. Oh, then right there, Bunks. Excuse me? No one gets inside of this establishment unless you're on the list. I am the list. I'm Parker Stoneshire. Uh, let's see, let's see. Uh, nope, uh, you're not on the list, loser. Sorry. Get my dad out here right now. I want to talk to him. Uh, whatever, dude. Stop yelling at me. Maybe they just figured out I'd be home, and that's why they didn't put me on the list. Yeah, maybe? All right, what seems to be going on here? Ugh. Oh, wait a second. Oh, that's right. Yes, yes, that's my son, Peter. What? Dad, no, it's me, Parker. Oh, right, right, of course. What do you want? Can I come in? Don't I still live here? Okay, fine. Just let him in. But escort this paw off my property. Sir, yes, sir! Uh, thanks, dude. I'll catch you later. Wait, what? Yeah, you're gonna walk away or do you want me to make you, huh? Yeah, I, I can walk. Thanks. Hey, Mom. Hey, Dad. Oh, hello, darling. Didn't know you were home. What? I saw you last night at your party. We saw so many people. You really expected us to remember you? Uh, yeah, I'm your son. Yes, of course. How could we forget? Look, I wanted to tell you guys I was really upset you left me here. What? Upset? Why? You left me alone, and everyone thought you were dead. That was our plan, after all. Your plan? We wanted a vacation, away from you. You were so annoying, we just had to get away. What? I don't understand. Well, what's done is done. Hey, do you even know what day it is today? No, I don't track days. That's poor people stuff. It's my birthday today. Oh, well, happy birthday, honey. Here, go buy yourself a yacht or something. Your father and I are off to Japan for some sushi. Wait, what? Are you serious? Guys! Ugh. Hey, huh? <laughs> what's up, losers? Whoa. Back to normal again, huh? Yeah, well, I'm richer and better than ever. You like my new car? My parents just got it for me for my birthday. Y'all, whatever, man. Dude, I'll catch you later, Levi. Hey, look, Levi, can we talk for a sec? Yeah, sure, dude. Oh, uh, I almost forgot. Happy birthday, man. Whoa, you actually remembered? Yeah, of course I did. You were my brother at one point. Look, I know it's not a fancy car, but it's something. No, no, it's, it's perfect. Thanks. 
Hey, do you want to hang out after school? Uh, yeah, sure. Why not? Yeah, dude, don't hang out with him. He's lame. Beat it, you poor. Uh, hey, Jacob, whatever. Uh, I'll see you around, man. Hey, Levi, wait. No, 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 Parker, come over here, buddy. Let, let, let me let me tell you something real quick. If I ever see you talking to those poor loser homeless people again, I'm gonna spread rumors about you everywhere in this school and online. Yeah, well, I thought you were my friend. I am, when you're rich and not talking to those weirdos. Now, come on, dude, let's skip school and do something fun. Nah, I'm good. Did you just reject Jacob? Yeah, yeah, I did. I'm going to school. <laughs> Loser! Whatever, dude, you lame! Levi, we are so proud of you. Good job, son. You graduated the highest in your class. Thanks. I feel great about it. I can't wait for college. Uh, hey, guys. Oh, my gosh, it's Parker. Hey! Congratulations, Parker. Oh, thank you. Hey, Levi, can we talk in private? Yeah, sure. Hey, I I'm really upset. My parents didn't even come see me graduate. I feel so alone. Well, you wanna grab some pizza with my family then? Really? You think that'd be okay? Yeah, of course, man. Don't worry, you don't have to be alone. We're here for you. Wow, thanks, Levi. Ah, oh, Percy, there you are. Wait, why are you carrying a bag? My dear, you should have the butler carry that. No, I I'm fine. Where are you going? I'm leaving. I'm moving out and I'm never coming back. Oh, are you off to our summer home in Nantucket? No, I'm gonna go ask the Strongs if I can move back in with them. You're going to go live with poor people? They're not poor! Well, if that's what you want, then go for it. It is what I want. All I wanted was a family that cares about me. You've got your inheritance now. What more do you want? I'm your son. I want a family, and you don't care about me at all. That's why I'm going. Bye, Mom and Dad. Yeah, I'll get it. Wait, Parker, what are you doing here? Are you okay? No, I'm not. I made a big mistake. Leaving a family who cared about me for one who couldn't care less? That was wrong. Did you know they even wanted me to think they were dead? Dude, I I'm sorry. That's horrible. Why are you telling me all this? Because I was a jerk to you. And honestly, you were the closest thing I had to a real family. Parker, hey, what are you doing here? Can I come back home if you'll let me? Oh, of course. Welcome back, son. I'll have to go tell your mother. She'll be so excited. It's good to have you back, Parker. Okay, Todd, the mic is working. Are you ready? Yeah, dude, I'll be right over there. <laughs> Sweet. Psychic greetings! Get your psychic greetings! Let the magnificent Danny tell your future! Only 50 bucks! Danny, what is all this? I'm giving psychic greetings, bro! You're not psychic! Shut up! <laughs> yes, I am! Go away! You're scaring away my customers! Hey, Danny! Can you really see the future? Well, <laughs> give me 50 bucks and find out! Okay, fine! Okay, hold on! Ah, uh, I'm getting something! I see that your car is gonna catch on fire today! What? Yeah, right. That is so fake. Oh my gosh, what was that? Sounded like an explosion. No, my car! My car! <laughs> no, no way. This is impossible. See, I told you I am psychic. Look at all this cash, dude. <laughs> I know. Great job today, man. Everyone totally bought it. Here's your cut. <laughs> Sweet. This was the best idea ever. Well, yeah, I know. I'm the one who came up with it. Todd, your mom's here to pick you. Whoa, what the heck? Pretty sweet, huh? Where did you get all that money? Giving psychic readings, duh. Yeah, man, you're like really dumb. Later, Danny. Dude, you seriously scammed that many people at school? You're not a psychic. Oh, okay then, prove it. Oh, that's right, you can't. I can prove it, and I will. You're not gonna get away with scamming people out of their money, dude. You're just so jealous of me now that I'm rich, and I'm gonna be famous. I know the difference between right and wrong, and this is wrong. Yeah, yeah, shut up and just get out of my room. Hey, stop it. Ugh, I'm going to prove that this is a scam. Danny can't get away with this. Danny, read my fortune! Daddy, well, I got an A in gym class. Danny, will Kelly be my girlfriend? Ew, no! Okay, okay, everyone calm down, calm down. One at a time. Oh my gosh, this has to be a joke. 
Yo, Danny, read my fortune now. <laughs> okay, Riff. Hmm, I see your locker. My locker? Is it 367? Uh, yes, yes it is, 367. You keep something incredibly important in there. Yeah, I do. I keep my Switch in there. Oh, yes, it's your Switch. Someone is going to steal it. Something is not right here. Okay, Riff's locker is just over here. I got it. <laughs> Sweet. Seriously, man? Hey, what the heck? Get lost, Todd, or I'll go tell Principal Salt on you. Ugh, you're so lame, dude. Danny and Todd are such jerks. They're going to get in so much trouble if they keep this up. Dylan, you're stealing my switch? Danny was right, and you're a thief, I hate you! Dude, let me explain. No, shut up! Ah! Principal Salt, Dylan stole my switch! Oh, no. Sorry I'm late, Principal Salt, but I had to leave work early. I don't care, Mr. Anderson. You should be apologizing to me for raising a criminal. I didn't steal Riff's switch. It was Todd. Really? Then why did Riff catch you red-handed? Dylan, what has gotten into you? You know stealing is wrong. Dad, it's not me. Danny's running a scam pretending to be psychic. That's outrageous. Actually, Danny has been giving psychic readings, and they've all come true. Yeah, because Todd is making it happen while no one is watching. Enough! Mr. Anderson, Dylan is suspended for the rest of the week. Take him home at once. Of course. Come on, Dylan, let's go. This is so stupid. I'm grounded, and I have to do Danny's chores now? Dude, this car is sick. Oh, what's up, loser? Danny, what the heck is that? It's my new car, obviously. Danny, that car is super expensive. Did you buy it with your scam money? Um, I bought it with the money I made from my gift. Did your buddy tell you I caught him red-handed? Yeah, he did. And you better back off, loser, or else I'll get you in even more trouble. Yeah, leave us alone, or you'll regret it. I'm going to expose those jerks soon enough, and everyone is going to see the truth. Man, your brother's so lean. Yeah, I know, but he did catch you. You better not get caught like that again, because I have something else planned, and he needs to go perfectly. What do you have in mind? Your mom still makes rock candy, right? Uh, yeah, I think she does. Why? <laughs> oh, well, I have an idea. That's right, everyone! I, the Magnificent Denny, am selling special energy-enhancing crystals for anyone to buy. Step right up and get yours now! Only a hundred bucks a piece! What's so special about these? These look stupid! These are not stupid. These crystals were found in an ancient psychic cave. If you have one on you, it'll keep away negative energy and give you good vibes. Oh, sweet. I need vibes for the football game this weekend. I'll take two. Pleasure doing business with you, Riff. Wow. Where did you get these, Danny? <laughs> Mind your own business, loser. Yeah, your vibe is just so bad, bro. Oh, I know. That's why I want one of your crystals. It's supposed to give me good vibes, right? Okay. What are you up to? I know you're up to something. Do you want the money or not? Todd, give him a crystal. Yeah, here. Now go away. Awesome. Thanks so much, guys. Fancy psychic crystals, huh? Yeah, let's see what this really is. Hey, Logan, can you run some tests on this thing for me? Danny's now selling these crystal things, and knowing him, it's probably another stupid scam. Uh, okay, this should be pretty easy enough. So what do you think? Is it real or what? Oh, yeah, it's real. Real rock candy, dude. It's nothing but sugar. Rock candy? I can't believe people are actually buying this junk. He's selling this for a hundred bucks. Oh, man, your brother's gonna get in some serious trouble for this. Yeah, man, and I'm going to expose him for it, too. Man, you're wasting your energy. Danny's gonna mess up like he usually does, and everyone's gonna find out the truth soon enough. You'll learn eventually, man. Trust me. Yeah, I hope so. I just hate seeing my brother like this. I know. Some people need to learn, even if it's the hard way. So, what do you think of this, Jade? Yeah, man, it's, uh, sick. Uh, speaking of, can I get my cut or what? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'll give it to you when we get back to my place. Soon, man, we're gonna have way more money. Trust me, and we're gonna be famous! 
Hey, idiot! I need to talk to you right now! Oh, uh, uh, hey, Riff. Uh, what's up? What's up? What's up is I should punch you in your face right now. That's what's up. The crystals I bought from you are fake. I had them in my pocket and they just started melting. Well, uh, wow, Riff. Actually, that's really good luck. If the crystals melt, it means your energy is just so good. Great job, man. Oh, oh okay, sweet. Oh, never mind then. Sorry I wanted to punch you in the face. <sighs> that was close. Yeah, too close. Maybe we should just come clean, huh? What? No. You want more money, don't you? And I want to be rich and famous. We have to keep going until we get there. Uh, okay, fine. You're right. Yeah, I am. Now go buy me a churro at the food court. Thank you for helping me with dinner tonight, Dylan. Yeah, of course, Dad. Now where is your brother? Danny, get down here now! Ugh, what, Dad? Can you please set the table? Dinner should be ready soon. Oh, yeah, uh, no, I can't. I'm going out for dinner with Todd tonight. We always have dinner together on Sundays. You're not going out. Now set the table. No, I have to go out. I had a vision, and it's super important that I eat sushi tonight. Yeah, right. Again with this fake psychic stuff? It's not fake, you know. I had a vision you burned the mashed potatoes. And I had a vision that you're a liar and a spoiled brat. Boy, stop fighting. Danny, you're not psychic. Yes, I am. Hold on. I'm getting another vision. Can you believe this, Dad? It's so fake. Yeah, yeah. Hold on a second. Danny, what's wrong? Oh, my gosh. Todd is going to call me. Oh, what the heck? Hello. Oh, hey, Todd. Yeah, I'm leaving now. Bye, Dad. Dad, you're just gonna let him leave like that? Well, look, your brother has a gift and we should respect it. Oh, great. Now he believes him too? Hey everyone, the Magnificent Danny has a super important announcement to announce. After getting permission from Old Man Saul, I will be holding a seance in the school at night this weekend. That's right, Magnificent Danny will be talking to real ghosts here in the school. And it's only gonna be 500 bucks a person. And space is limited, so sign up now. You don't believe this stuff, do you? Nah, dude, I'm a man of science. It's just stupid. Yeah, it is. I'm thinking I should go sign up for this seance. Hey, bro, can I sign up for your seance? No, space is limited, and your vibe will ruin the mood. Ah, uh, fine. Well, he's not gonna let me sign up. Dude, just sneak in. How hard could it be? Yeah, good idea. You wanna come with me? <laughs> yeah, no chance, man. Okay, everyone, it's midnight. Let the seance begin. Okay, Danny, let's see you crash and burn this time. I can hear the spirits of the dead. They're here with us. Oh yeah, prove it. Okay, spirits, this is the magnificent Danny. Please let your presence be known. <laughs> okay, how about this? <laughs> oh my gosh, what is that? It's the spirits. Spirits, knock once for yes, two for no. Are you here with us now? Are you going to hurt us? Am I the coolest person at this school? Oh my gosh! <laughs> Pretty magnificent, huh? This is so stupid. I'm out of here. Oh my gosh, this is so crazy. And this video, it's gonna go viral, I know it! Hey, uh, where's Dad? He's in his office, why? Dad, get out here! What is it, son? Oh my gosh, what is that? I wanted to give you this. It's $10,000. Oh my gosh, how did you get all this money? By scamming innocent people? No, I held a seance and it went viral. I'm famous now and guess what? I get to go on the Diane Show. The Diane Show? I love that show. Oh, this is incredible, son. I'm proud of you, Danny. Well, I'm not proud of you. I know you faked that seance. Todd was behind it, wasn't he? Uh, I don't care if you're proud of me. You're just being jealous again, as usual. No, I'm not. I just care for you. And I want you to be honest and come clean. And give up all this money and fame? <laughs> no way. Yes. You can't just lie to people for the rest of your life, dude. I can do whatever I want. I'm rich and famous now. I have something big planned, Dylan. And whatever you do, stay out of my way. 
Welcome back, everyone, to my show. I'm Diane, and I know you love me. Now, I have the newest and biggest celebrity here on the show with me. Everyone, welcome the magnificent Danny. Thank you, Diane. You are so lucky to have me on your show. Yes, I am. Now, everyone is talking about the viral video of your seance and how you are the best psychic the world has ever seen. <laughs> yeah, it's true. It's just a gift I've always had. Would you mind giving us a psychic reading right now? Oh, uh, I don't know. Come on, Danny. This is going to make you even more famous than you already are. <laughs> you know what? For you, Diane, sure. <laughs> oh, my gosh. What's happening? You're going to buy a new Lambo. And it's going to be pink. Well, uh, return it. What? Return it? Why? It's a pink Lambo. <laughs> it's adorable. If you drive it, it's going to explode. Uh, okay, James, cancel my Lambo order <laughs> immediately. Incredible work, Danny. Applaud for him. And thank you for showing everyone how magnificent you really are. <laughs> bye bye. Dylan, you're going to be late for school. Let's go. Sorry, Dad. I'm ready. Oh, hold on. I need to find my car keys. Ugh. Danny, do you know where my car keys are? Um, uh, yeah. Uh, I had a vision. They were in the kitchen. Oh, that's my famous psychic son. Dude, what are you doing? You're not ready for school. We're going to be late. Yeah, I'm not going to school anymore. What are you talking about? You have to go to school. Actually, he cannot go to school anymore. I'm taking Danny out of school to focus on his psychic abilities. This is so stupid. Danny doesn't have a gift. He's faking this whole thing. Dad, Dylan is killing my energy. I feel like I can't have any visions when he's around. Dylan, stop killing his energy and stop being a jerk. You can walk to school today. What? No, it's raining out. Ha! <laughs> Bet you didn't see that coming, but I did. Shut up, you liar. That's it. Now get to walking or you're going to be late. Ugh, unbelievable. Dude, you took him out of school? That's ridiculous. I know. I saw him on the Diane show. That psychic reading he gave her was totally bogus. Anyone could see that. Well, apparently not. I can't let him do this anymore. So, what are you going to do now? I need to find a way to expose him and stop him for good. But now he knows you're on to him. He'll be watching you to make sure you don't trip him up. That's why he didn't let you go to that stupid seance. I know. But that is why I think I need your help. Look, dude, I didn't want to get involved with this. But I think it might be the only way. I'll help you out this time. Thanks, man. You're the best friend ever. <laughs> I know. Now, let's put a stop to your spoiled brother once and for all. Dude, I can't believe I now have my own psychic store. This is gonna be sick. You mean we have a psychic store? Yeah, 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 of course. Now we can give people psychic readings here. And since I'm famous, we can charge more. Whoa, sweet. How much you thinking? I was thinking like a thousand bucks a reading, maybe five thousand, you know. I'll have so much money, I won't even know what to do with it. Oh, okay, get lost. I think we have our first customer. Welcome to Magnificent. Ugh, oh, it's you. What do you want, Logan? I saw you on the tie-in show, man. I want to read it. You're Dylan's best friend. <laughs> You're just here to mess with me. Uh, no, dude, I believe you. Trust me. Can you at least help me out with something? Ah, uh, yeah, fine. Come on over here. Okay, the spirits are talking to me. Uh, yeah, what do they say? Uh, dude, Logan's like super smart. Just tell him he's gonna win the science fair. Just stay there. Okay, I see you winning the science fair. Uh, that was last week, dude. I mean, I did win, but... Okay, uh, let me try again. Oh, gosh. Uh, I don't know. I can't find anything on this guy. Uh, just make something up. Uh, okay, uh, uh, looks like you're gonna get a car for Christmas! Dude, I don't celebrate Christmas. I'm Jewish. What is this? Uh, y you know what? Y you're stupid. Your, your vibes are all wrong. Reading over, give me 5,000 bucks. Yeah, right. I'm not paying you anything. You suck, dude. Did you get it, man? Yeah, I got the whole thing. Now, I finally have the evidence we need. Dad, I showed you the video, and you still don't believe it? I believe you and your friend played a mean prank on your little brother. No, Dad. Danny's just faking this whole thing. 
That's enough. Now, your brother said he had a surprise for us, and he wanted us to meet him here. I want you on your best behavior. Okay, Danny, we're here. What's the big surprise? This is the big surprise. This is my brand new mansion. Oh my gosh, Danny. Wow, good job. <laughs> I know, I know. Come inside and check it out. Wow, son. I'm very proud of you. So, when do we all get to move in? We? Oh, no, Dad. This is my house. I need to live here on my own. You know, to boost my psychic energy and, uh, you know. Of course. You only care about yourself and your fake psychic scheme. Well, since this is my house, that means it's my rules. Dylan, I want you out, and you're never welcome back here ever again. Fine by me. I can't stand being around liars. I can't wait until your selfishness catches up with you, Danny. Yeah, whatever. Why is he so mean to me, Dad? I, I hate him. Dylan thinks you're pretending to be psychic. He even showed me a video to prove it. A video? What video? Oh, he filmed that reading with his stupid friend, man. Now he says he has proof that I'm a fake. Well, we got an even bigger problem, Danny. You haven't paid me in three months, dude. Oh, uh, I, I haven't? I thought I Venmoed you yesterday. No, you did it. And you promised me I'd get half of the money we make. And I got nothing for three months. You're going to pay me right now. If you don't give me that money, I'm going to expose you myself. You wouldn't dare. Yes, I would. No one double crosses Todd. Not even you. I will give you one last chance. Give me my money. No, if you want money, go get it on your own. So this is how it's going to be, huh? Fine. You're going to regret this, loser. Dad, dad. Dad's at work. What do you want? Oh, Dylan, thank goodness. I need your help. Todd quit last night. Wow, I'm surprised he lasted this long. Why'd he quit? Ah, he was begging me for money like a poor person, so I told him to kick rocks. He says he's going to expose me. I need you to stop him. Stop him? Yeah, no. I tried to get you to stop all of this months ago. I even tried to expose you myself, but you wouldn't listen to me. So now you need to learn the hard way. No, ah, this sucks. I'm finally rich and famous. I won't give that up just to learn a stupid lesson. I know, and that's why I won't help you. Ugh, you are the worst brother ever. Hey, Logan, dude, you're not going to believe what happened this morning. Uh, dude, look at this. Welcome back, everyone. I know you all know about that magnificent Danny, the teenage psychic. What you don't know is the truth. Dun, dun, dun. I have Danny's best friend here with me on the show, Todd. Ex best friend, Diane. <laughs> Spicy. You said you had some gossip for me, and you know I love gossip. What is the truth that you have about the great and magnificent Danny? Yeah, Danny's not magnificent. He's a fake. <gasps> a fake? Danny's no psychic. He made me help him cheat the whole time. Oh, wow. So, why are you coming clean now? Because he wouldn't give me the money he owed me. You mean, the money you two scammed people out of? Yeah, exactly, Diane. Danny's a scammer, and he's a total fake, and everyone needs to know it. I'm innocent, though. He made me do everything. Oh, dude, this is huge. Yeah, I guess I don't need to expose Danny myself anymore. I can't believe this. My son is a scammer? I just want to get in there and give your brother a piece of my mind. No, this sucks. Ugh, I hate Todd. What a loser. Daniel Steven Anderson. Oh, Dad, I'm so happy you're here. I need some cash. My bank accounts are frozen. Oh, it's so stupid. You know what's stupid? Lying and scamming millions of people out of millions of dollars. How could you? What? It's not a big deal. It's a huge deal! How can you lie to me like that? I am your father! I took you out of school! Uh, what is that? It sounds like the police. Open up, you scammer! Oh no, I can't go to jail! Jail's for idiots! Danny, stop! All right, where's the criminal? He's under arrest! He just ran out back. Seriously? Ugh, I hate running! Get back here, you loser! That's right, everyone. The fake psychic, Magnificent Danny, he is on the run. They urge if anyone who sees Danny to call the police immediately. 
I hate you, Danny. You are the worst person in the world. How could I have been so stupid? I should have listened to you from the beginning. Can you um forgive me? Of course, Dad. I love you. And strangely enough, I still love Danny, too. All I can think about right now is your brother. On the run from the police. He must be so scared. I know I would be. Well, maybe this will scare him into doing the right thing. I hope so. But there's something I really want you to do. I want you to go out there and find your brother and bring him home. I can try, but you know Danny. He's as stubborn as a horse. He might not even want to come home. Well, make him. We can't have your brother being a fugitive. He needs his family right now. Okay, I'll see what I can do. Ugh, Todd better help me after everything he's done. He owes me. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. What do you want? I need your help, dude. The police are looking for me. Yeah, sure thing, man. I'll hide you if you pay me all the money you owe me. Ugh, I can't pay you, Todd. They froze my bank accounts. Well then, I guess I won't be helping you after all. Oh, come on, dude. You're my best friend. You're my only friend. I am not your friend. I just wanted the money. And since you refuse to give me that money, you're useless to me. What are you doing? 911, what's your emergency? That scam artist Danny's at my house right now. Ugh, you're the worst, Todd. No, you're the worst. I've been looking for Danny everywhere, but I still can't find him. Wherever he's hiding, it must be pretty well hidden. <laughs> Oh, come on. This is a spaceship. Hey, Danny, wake up. Uh, no, I hate aliens. Oh, it's just you. Is this really where you're hiding in the school library? Yeah, man. No one ever comes in here. It's perfect. Danny, you need to put a stop to all of this. You need to give all this up and give back the money you stole from people. And maybe if you do, the cops will go easy on you. You know what? I have a better idea. I want you to get my secret stash of cash and give it to me. What? Secret stash? Yeah, I hid it under my bed for safekeeping. Just bring it to me, okay? I need that money. Hey, scammer! You stole my money, you loser, and I want it back! Uh, no, get lost! Oh, yeah? How about I give you a knuckle sandwich? Ah! Stay away from me! Get back here, you twerp! Yup, here it is, just like he said it would be. This must be like a million dollars or something. Oh my gosh. Dylan, what are you doing in here? Looking for this. Is that Danny's money? Yep, I saw him at school today and he said he wanted this. Hold on, hold on. You saw your brother and you didn't bring him back? I tried to, but he refused. <laughs> of course he did. I'm so disappointed in him. Yeah, I am too. Thought maybe all of this would really set him straight, but he loves the attention. Attention? Ugh. Just don't know why he won't own up to what he did. Because he thinks what he did was not wrong. Well, you're not going to give him that money. No, I'm not. I'm going to go turn it over to the police. Good. I'm glad I raised one son to do the right thing. Let's just go turn this money over to the police and go looking for him. He couldn't have gone very far. Well, he's not at the mall or at the park, so where the heck could he be? Back off, you creep! This is mine! No way, this is my burger, fool! Ah! Woohoo! I'm rich! Ugh, why didn't you stop him? What the heck was that? What? I was hungry, and I can't buy food without money. I had to steal it. You know, you didn't have to do that, right? You could just come home with me right now. Dad and I can help you. You don't want to help me. You just want to turn me in for the reward money. Will you just listen to yourself? We're your family. I'm your brother. Dad and I want to help you. Stop acting like a spoiled brat and wake up. Do you want to live the rest of your life as a fugitive? No, it sucks. Then let's go home. Uh, fine, whatever. Oh, man, did you make this? It kind of sucks, <laughs> but it's better than the food from a dumpster, I guess. Wow, thanks, dude. Where is he? Hey, Dad. Don't you hey, Dad me? What the heck is wrong with you? What is your problem? I thought you wanted me home. What I want is for you to stop acting like an idiot and turn yourself into the police. But I don't want to. What if I have to go to jail? You need to face the consequences of your actions, young man. Consequences are lame. I should be able to do whatever I want. That is not how the world works. Clearly, you haven't learned anything from this. I hope this will teach you a lesson. Yeah. <laughs> no running away this time, Bojo. 
Oh, no! Dad, Dylan, please help me! Yeah! <laughs> you know, shut up and get walking. I hope we did the right thing. We did, Dad. Now it's up to Danny to do the right thing. All right, here you go. Your brand new home, you criminal. Ugh, you know what? You suck. Also, you smell horrible. Shut up. It's just my feet. I have a condition. You know what? Whatever. I'm so over this. You're going to get stuck in here forever. Who's the loser now, huh? Wait, hold on. What? I've got a lean cuisine in the mic. Make it quick. Listen, you know I'm super rich, right? I have millions of dollars, and I was able to take this before you arrested me. <gasps> oh my gosh, I love money. <laughs> I know, I do too. If you let me out of here, all this can be yours, and I can give you even more money. Give it to me right now! Woohoo! I love money so much! <laughs> Sucker! What? What is this? What's happening? Um, I tricked you, idiot. Later. Wait, stop right there, little ma'ams. Think I'm married. Did that ma'am trick you with monums? Yeah, he was so mean. You let the criminal escape, y'all. So what? I do it all the time. Let me out. No way, Think I'm married. You messed up big this time. And you got to stay right here, y'all. <gasps> what? No! Oh, no. Someone's breaking into our house. Oh, come on. Where is it? Where is it? I put it somewhere here. Hold on, Danny? What are you doing? I'm looking for my stash of cash, loser. Where is it? I need my money now. Oh yeah, I found it and I gave it back to the police. You did what? You betrayed me. How could you do this? How could I? How could you do all of this? How could you scam people, lie to me and dad and run away from the police? Because I'm the magnificent Danny. I'm awesome and I always get what I want. Now get the heck out of my way. No, Danny, stop. You're not gonna catch me, loser. <laughs> you thought you could escape Asafa Rufus? Okay, you wild, y'all. You going to Yale again. Yes. Come on, let me out of here. This place sucks and I hate it. Oh, Dylan, thank goodness. Just unlock that door and I'll sneak out the back. No, I hope this teaches you a lesson, dude. Good luck. Wait, no, stop! Come back! Dylan! Mom, can we go home now? I just have one more store to go to, and we'll be done with our holiday shopping. Hey, give me your Robux! What? No way! Leave my son alone! Just take this! <laughs> Sweet! Hey, give my mom her Robux back! Make me! Wait, Richie? Uh, no? Carl? It's Richie, Mom! He's stealing our Robux again! Richie is the worst little brother ever! Ugh! Where did he go? Let's go home. Maybe he's there. He better be. He's so spoiled. And now now he's dead me. No, no, no. I can't believe it. They're gone. All my Robux. Guys, we've been robbed. Yeah, we know. And it was Richie. He's the one that robbed us. He must have a good explanation for this. I bet he doesn't. He's so spoiled and you guys let him get away with everything. Hey, be nice to your brother. He doesn't handle stress well. Yeah? Well, that doesn't mean he can rob us. He probably just wanted a new game or something. Hey, guys! Richie, explain yourself! Explain what? Why you stole our Robux? Or maybe why you stole from Mom? Yeah, so? He had Robux, and I wanted them! Well, give them back! No! Make me! Boys, stop this! Stop running, dude! Ah! <laughs> Look what you've done! Why can't you just leave your brother alone? Because I want our Robux back! No! I'm out of here! I hope you're happy, Carl! No, I'm not happy! Now you guys are gonna just let him steal my car? No way! I'm gonna get you, Richie! <laughs> I'm so rich now, and I have so many Robux! And you know what? I'll keep robbing my family all I want to! I'M GONNA CRASH! Ah! Ugh, I am so sick of Richie and his spoiled attitude. I'm not gonna let him get away with this. What the? My car! Ugh! Hey, what is your problem, dude? I don't have any problems. I wanted Robux, and now I have them. I wanted a car, and now I had it. What's the issue? You've robbed your own family. Isn't that an issue to you? No, it's up to them to give me stuff. It's ridiculous. 
Hey, you both have to leave. This is private property. What about my car? That stupid car? I don't want it. <laughs> yeah, I don't want it either. It sucks. Shut up, dude. You just crashed it. Get out of here now. Oh my gosh, shut up. No, you owe me a new car. No, I don't. Boy, stop arguing, both of you. No, Dad, Richie just crashed my car. It's totaled now. Did you know I'm going to be famous one day? I'm going to be filthy rich. Oh, not this again. It's true. We can't mess with Richie's creativity. He won't be a famous painter if we do. That is so stupid. He doesn't even paint really anymore. <gasps> I'm distracted, okay? I need more money. Uh, this should be enough, at least for now. Are you serious, you thief? Just let Richie have it, so he stops bothering us. No, I'm done with this. Huh. Ah! <laughs> Carl, get out of the house. Go stay with your friend tonight. You're not welcome here anymore. Thanks for letting me crash here tonight, Logan. Uh, no problem. I, I can't believe your brother is still acting like this. Yeah, you're telling me. Oh, I'm sorry, but Richie's like the biggest baby on the planet. I, I wouldn't let him get away with this, dude. Yeah, well, my parents let him get away with everything. Now, I need to work more hours to get a new car. Oh, great. I'm sorry, it's my mom. Hold on. Hey, mom. Are you coming home tonight? No. No? Why not? Because I just can't stand by while you let Richie be a criminal. You're overreacting, Carl. You need to be more sensitive to your brother. Sensitive? You're joking. He's trying to be a famous artist, and that's very hard. Well, the rest of the world is trying to function and not get their hard-earned money stolen by their own family members. You, me, and Dad deserve better than this. I know, but he's my son. What am I supposed to do? I don't know, but I'm not coming home tonight. Good night, Mom. I love you. Everything okay? Yeah, I think so. Let's just do something else, though. Let's play some video games or something. I'm so tired of how Richie's been acting. I really wish he could just get his life together. He used to be cool and super talented and driven, but our parents always babied him because of it. They act like nothing he does is ever wrong. Richie, you have not handed in your assignment all year. Uh, okay. Can you tell me why? Um, I'm rich. I don't need to hand in any assignments. That isn't true. Look at your brother, Carl. He has been doing a great job with his sports photos and makes great grades. Carl isn't going to be rich or famous. He doesn't have talent like me. He's just going to be mid, just like you. Mid? Okay, Richie. You need to leave right now. Ah, uh, Mr. Baguette, I'm sorry my brother's being such a jerk. It's okay, I see it all the time. Spoiled, self-entitled people like him often end up going nowhere in life. Yeah, well, I hope that's not the case. Even though he's a jerk, he's still my little brother and I want the best for him. I do too. Anyway, great job with the football game photos. You're definitely getting an A+. Wow, great, thanks. Ugh, Carl is such a jerk. Carl, can I borrow 50 Robux so we can buy dinner? What? Um, I guess so. Where's your money, Mom? I gave it to Richie for more art supplies and a new pair of sneakers. It helps him get inspired. Mom, why are you doing this? Seriously. Your brother never really fit in growing up. It was so hard to see him get picked on. Yeah, well, I got picked on too. Not as bad as him. Wow. <laughs> so you think I've had it easy, huh? No, it's just... We wanted to encourage his art. He needed it, and it made him more social. He needs real guidance, Mom. Not a cheerleader. Not a bank account. I'm still your mom. I do not need advice from you. And tomorrow night is his art show at the museum. It is a big competition. You will be there to support him. Oh, come on, Mom. You better be there. Ugh, I cannot believe I'm here. Maybe Mom's right, though. What if Richie's just going through something? Maybe he needs some help. Now heading over to one of the most anticipated pieces of the night, Richie's, what do you have in store for us? Oh, it's an honor for all of you to see this tonight. I'm about to show greatness. After I win, anyone can buy this piece for one million Robux. Okay, let's see what you got. All right, and ta-da! I call it excellence. 
Oh, so this is a funny prank, huh? You're joking, right? No, this is real art, man. Hold on, it's the most embarrassing thing I've ever seen. <laughs> uh, this thing looks stupid. You call this art? This is trash. Uh, you guys just don't get it. That prize money is mine. Yeah, not so fast, Robux thief. Man, what the heck just happened? I said, you better buy my painting. I'm going to be a rich celebrity artist. Don't you know that? It has to happen now. Hello? Hello? Ah! Hey, dude, I was at the art show. That was pretty tough. Are you okay? Oh, yeah. Um, I'm perfect, just like always. Oh, my gosh. Dude, you don't need to keep pretending, okay? You can just be yourself. I am being myself. This is who I am. No, it's not, dude. I've known you my whole life. You're better than this. Yeah, well, I'm better than everyone. Duh. No, you're not. You want acceptance, but being rich and famous and buying material stuff isn't going to fix the sadness you felt growing up. Ugh, you don't know anything. If I'm rich, everyone will love me. Simple as. That's not true. Yeah, it is. I'm way cooler than you at school now than I was before. Dude, you might have more friends, but they're all fake. They don't care about you. Your family is the one that cares about you, and all you do is take from them. Because you all owe me. You should support me no matter what. The world doesn't owe you anything, man. Oh, yes, it does. And I'm going to get what I deserve. Mom, I'm feeling uninspired. I need $100 in Robux. Plus, I want to go shopping today. <sighs> no, Richie. I don't have that kind of money. Wait, what are you saying? I'm poor now? Oh, please. Mom, can I get a ride to work since I don't have a car anymore? <sighs> sure, let's go. You gotta be kidding. She gives Carl everything. I'm sick of this. He must have money somewhere. Oh, looks like your bank account has money, Mom. I'll just transfer that into mine. There we go. Now, let's see what's in this safe. Huh? That's it? Ah, uh, whatever. I guess this will do. <laughs> Nobody gets in between me and my Robux. I really hope Richie can turn things around, especially with college coming up. Yeah, he hasn't been doing well at school lately, Mom. I don't know if he's going to college. <sighs> he was really upset about his painting competition. Hey, lady! I know you ordered food, but you're broke! Stop being rude, Eunice. No, it, it must be a mistake. I ran that card like five times! It doesn't work, lady! You got no money! Stop wasting my time and get out of here! This has to be some kind of mistake, Mom. Right? <gasps> no, it's not! Everything is gone, Carl! All of our Robux! They're gone! How does that even happen? I, I don't know! Quick, we need to go tell your dad! Diane, the safe has been robbed. I think Richie broke into it. It's even worse. Richie stole all of our Robux out of our account. What? It's gone. Every last Robux is gone. There uh, has to be a way we can fix this and get our money back. Yeah, you can fix it by doing the right thing and calling the police. What? No, I can't do that to my son. Beep, beep. Check it out, guys. Pretty sweet, huh? This is going to be great at my next art show. Richie, where's our Robux? Uh, spent it on a Lambo. Pretty sick, huh? Uh, what are you doing? I'm calling 911. No, stop it, Carl! This is for his own good. 911? Yeah, there's been a robbery. Woohoo! Man, this car is sick! It's so fast! <laughs> I totally deserve it. Out of the car now! Uh, what's up, officer? Want an autograph or a photo with my Lambo? It's pretty sick, huh? What? No! I need you to tell me where you got this car. Um, I bought it with my Robux. Duh. I'm a famous artist. You've probably heard of me, Richie. I've got tons of cool stuff. Oh, really? Well, I have reason to believe you're involved with a theft, and you bought this car with stolen Robux. <laughs> you're actually saying I stole this car? Do you know who I am? No, I don't, and I don't care. You're under arrest. What? No, 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 no way. I, I didn't do anything. Come on. Shut up. Let's go. Uh, no, no, no. I, I can drive myself. Yo, and that thing? I don't think so. It's getting towed. You're going to jail, and you're coming with me. No! Ah, this sucks. 
I can't believe you're doing this, Mom. It's the least I can do for Richie. He's had such a long night. Mom, would you just stop? He needs to grow up. He isn't a baby anymore, and he can't keep stealing Robux from his family. What's he gonna do when he's older, huh? He'll be fine. Now stop it. I'm here about my son Richie and all of the money he stole. Uh, yeah. Since it was your money, do you want to press charges? No, 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 no. He, he didn't do anything wrong. It was all a misunderstanding. Look, Lainey, this is none of my business, but this was actually a pretty serious crime. He was arrested, and that's gonna stick with him forever. There's no forgetting that. Mind your own business. My son is great. Huh! <laughs> yeah, he's a real prize. I'll go get him released. Man, I hope we can sell this stupid thing and get our money back. Yeah, well, we better. Hello, welcome. Can I help you gentlemen with anything? Uh, yeah. We're here to return this car. Return it? Yeah, unfortunately, my son stole my money and bought this car. We need a full refund. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, we don't do refunds here. Come on, dude. Just help us out. He stole all of our money. My brother put us in a really bad spot. I probably can't even go to college now. Yeah, man. I don't really care. You can sell us this car if you want, but I'm only offering 50k Robux for it. Capiche? 50k? That's my offer. That's not acceptable. He paid 300,000 Robux for it. Oh, well, that's all it's worth. So many rich people buy these new cars. As soon as they're used, they're pretty much worthless. There has to be something you can do. I can offer you 50k for it, or you can leave this dealership. Your choice. <sighs> Fine. 50k is better than nothing. It's just depressing, dude. Seeing my parents go through all this. I mean, yeah, but it's all their fault, though. I know. Hopefully, we can start saving our money and get back to normal. Bummer about college, huh? Yeah, it's fine, though. I'll pay my own way. I always do. <laughs> Look at Carl working. <laughs> this is so sad, dude. Richie, go away. I don't want to deal with you right now. <laughs> don't care. I want some new clothes. You should give them to me. What? No, that's not how this works. Listen, dude, if you don't have money, you need to leave. I can be wherever I want, even if it is your stupid, ugly store. If you won't give them to me, then I'll just take what I want. I said get out of the store now, Richie. Ugh, you're the worst brother ever. Hmm, so you say this is your finest work? <laughs> Obviously, this is my best one yet. You must be joking. This is trash. You're a fake, Richie. Hey, hey, trying isn't cool, it's basic. It's all about the look anyways. Quite opposite, actually. Effort is the key to real success, especially with art. <laughs> okay, so you don't know what you're talking about. Cool, fine, whatever. Are you buying this for a million dollars or what? I wouldn't pay a penny for this. This is gonna be worth millions one day. It's my painting, Richie's painting. With your attitude, I doubt it. You have a choice, Richie. Work hard and be a great painter, or continue this charade and this fraud you call art. See where it gets you. Uh, wow, I need a second to think about this. Um, can you wait right here? I'll be back in a sec. Uh, okay. Oh, stupid rich guy, he knows nothing. He's so stupid. Uh, that must be his ride. And look, he's so rich, he actually leaves Robux in it. Now that's more like it. I've got it all figured out. I'll find someone who appreciates my art. I won't sell my painting to you. You're lost. Ha! I doubt it. Now get this trash off my property. I never want to see you again. Fine! <laughs> I don't care. Now that I've got some Robux. <laughs> So, how did it go? How did what go? Did you sell your painting or what? No, I didn't. The guy was a loser. He couldn't appreciate my vision. He didn't deserve to own my painting. Richie, this is bad. You've really messed up big this time. As usual, you don't know what you're talking about. You're stupid too. Just be real with me, Richie. Why? Uh, why what? Why are you acting like this? It can't just be about people making fun of you when we were kids. You wanna know what? Because I wanna be someone, Carl. Someone people look up to. I thought fake it till you make it was the way. 
Make it to what? Being famous? That's not a goal, Richie. That's just vanity. So what? It doesn't matter. It's done so much for me, and when I finally make it, you'll see. Well, you'd better sell that painting soon. Otherwise, our whole family is going to be in trouble. I know things have been tough lately, but I feel like things are going to get better soon. At least I hope they will. I warned you this would happen, sir. You didn't meet your mortgage payments. Please, can uh, we have more time? We're close to having all the money. Uh, there's nothing I can do. You defaulted on your own mortgage, and now, unfortunately, you lose the house. That's how it works. Uh, Dad, what's going on? Your parents failed to pay their mortgage. You're now homeless. That's the situation. What? Dad, is that true? Uh, it, it's true, son. I, I'm so sorry. How could you let this happen? How could you let Richie do this to us? Just calm down. We'll figure something out. We'll find some way to go. Ah, somewhere in here. You need to leave. Okay, let me go and just get my things. No, that's not happening either. This is property and everything on it is now bank property. Leave or I'll call the police. So, this is where we're going to be living now. Oh, man, this place sucks. I swear. I'm going to do better than this someday. I feel so bad for... Mom and Dad, they work so hard. They don't deserve this, not at all. Oh, this place is a total dump. Who was that? My driver, duh. You have a driver? What the heck, Richie? Uh, of course I do. You really expect me to drive myself now? <laughs> Dude, look at where we are. We have to live in this stupid motel because of you. Oh yeah, I know, right? It's gross. I can't believe it. This is your fault. No, it's not. It's not my fault my family's bad with their money. You stole all of our money. You are so selfish. What has gotten into you? Like I said before, nothing. Just stop it. You're making me feel bad. Good. You should feel bad. You're spoiled and entitled, and you don't care about anyone else. Oh, that's enough. You're being ridiculous. No, I'm not. The rest of us are working so hard trying to make something of ourselves, and Richie is just stealing it from us. It's not fair. Carl's just being mean to me. Enough, Carl. You're going to get us kicked out of here. No, enough is enough. I can't do this anymore. Ugh, all right. I think this is it. Yeah, I'm loving this new apartment, man. This is going to be good for us. Yeah, it will. I really can't thank you enough for helping me out during the last year of school. Oh, Carl, of course. I get it. Uh, being around a thief like Richie, that's tough. I don't even want to think about him. We're going to make something big out of ourselves, dude. We'll be successful and we'll do it the right way. Have you talked to your brother at all? No, I haven't spoken to him since I left that motel. Last I heard, my family's actually still there. Whoa, that's really sad. Yeah, I know. I feel so bad for my parents. My mom reached out to me, though. She wants to meet me for coffee this week, but I don't know. Uh, maybe you should, man. It might be good to reconnect, you know? Yeah, you're probably right. I'll go see her. I do miss my parents a lot. Hey, Mom. It's good to see you. I'm so glad you're here. You look good. Are you taking care of yourself? Well, I'm trying to. I heard about your job at the sports station. That's wonderful, honey. Yeah, it's pretty much my dream job. I'm making a difference, and it's all about sports. That's great. I wish I could say the same about your brother. He's not doing too well. Oh, really? Why not? Didn't he graduate school? He was supposed to, but he quit. Said it was affecting his painting. What? painting. He hasn't touched a brush in like over a year. I tried to help him, but I just don't know what to do anymore. Well, you already know my advice, mom. You guys turned him into this. I know. I work so hard, and yet... I know. It breaks my heart as well. Seeing you and dad like this, it's not right. I just want our family to be together again. That would be nice. It's a shame Richie makes it impossible. Can't we just try? Maybe just one dinner together. Please, Carl. Uh, all right. For you, Mom. I'll do it for you. Thank you. Thank you so much. <sighs> I can't believe I'm actually doing this. Well, here goes nothing. Hey, guys. Hi, honey. 
I'm so glad you're here. See, Will, I told you he would come. Yeah, it's good to see you, son. <sighs> Thanks, Dad. It's been a while. Your mom told me all about what you've been up to. We're really proud of you, Kyle. <laughs> I'm not. Anyone can get a stupid job, but not everyone has artistic talent like me. Richie, we agreed to get along tonight. It's fine. I get it. Richie's just being himself. We had you moved into your own place. Well done. <sighs> you know what? This place sucks. I'm out. Aren't you going to pay for any of this? No. You're so rich now, you got it. Richie, get back here. I'm sorry to interrupt y'all, but this bill will be like $500, and that kid ordered some real expensive stuff, y'all. 500 Robux? I don't know how we're going to pay it. We gave Richie all of our Robux again, and uh, we messed up real bad. So you invited me here just to buy dinner? No, that was not the intention at all. Um, listen, I know that this is sad and you'll be crying, y'all, and this be real bad, but I really need this bill paid, y'all. Ugh, unbelievable. Here. Woo! Hey, thanks, y'all. Okay, I'll let you get back to being sad. I can't believe you guys. You gave Richie all of your Robux again? This is why I left. Because I feel like you guys don't even know that you have another son. Of course we know we have another son. That's not fair. After this, I can't be around you guys. Not until you stop treating Richie like a spoiled baby. I'm done. Man, that was a long day at work. Huh? text from Richie? Hospital 911? What does that mean? And another one. Get to the hospital now. This sounds serious. Richie? Richie, dude, what happened? Where's mom and dad? They're dead, Carl. What? No. No, no, no. They, ca they can't be dead. They were leaving the motel and got hit by a truck crossing the road. They didn't make it. What? No, I can't believe it. They're really gone? I need you, Carl. I need my family. You're the only person I have left now. Now that they're, now that they're dead. I know, Richie. I, uh, I know. I'm here for you, bro. We'll be here for each other. I promise. I really wish things had been different. I wish I had listened more and understood better. But now it's too late. I'm sorry, Mom and Dad. I'm sorry I didn't get to spend more time with you. I, I just wish I had more time. Hey, Carl. Uh, this is Lucas. He's mom and dad's lawyer. Sorry for your loss, Carl. Your mom and dad loved you boys very much. Yeah, thanks. He's right. Mom and dad did love us. Turns out they actually left us some money. Money? Richie? Our parents are gone. How can you think about money at a time like this? I understand this is a difficult time, but please, visit my office when you feel ready to discuss the estate. This is very important business. Uh, but, uh, can't I just get my money now? I actually really need it. Please, have some respect. Speak to you both together when the time is right. What? I'm not disrespecting anything. I'm just saying I could use the money. You're unbelievable, Richie. This is a funeral, not a payday. Thanks for coming today, boys. I found out that your parents left a will quite some time ago. This is great, isn't it, Carl? Richie, shut up. Just let me get straight to it. Along with the will, they also left a note. Apparently, all the money is left to Carl. What? There's gotta be some mistake. Here, read it for yourselves. Carl, we know things have been hard, but we want you to know. We know you were right. We made a terrible mistake and hope someday you can forgive us. If anything happens to us, Richie needs to learn independence. We love you both so much, mom and dad. Well, I wish they said this to me when they were alive. You've got to be kidding. I don't get anything. They want you to learn how to be independent. That is so stupid. Give me the money. It's mine. Actually, it's not. It belongs to Carl legally and entirely. This isn't fair. Carl's already got money. I'm supposed to be the rich one. I'm an artist. I'm the famous one. Can you hear yourself? Our parents are dead, Richie. And all you care about is money? Yeah, well, you better give me what I deserve or you'll regret it. Everything's going so well at work. I think I might actually get a promotion soon. Uh, I hope I do. It's tough living out here on your own. Please? Please someone buy my art? Look at it. Look at this high quality famous artwork here. Come on. Richie, dude, what happened to you? <laughs> what do you mean? Uh, nobody cares about my art, so they're not buying it, obviously. I can't believe I'm saying this, but you should crash at my place tonight. I, I, I don't know. You're just going to rub it in my face or hold it over my head somehow. Come on, man. I know we've been fighting, but 
You're still my brother, and I don't want to see you like this. Well, neither do I. I hate living like this. Then let's do something about it. Come stay with me tonight. That way you can at least take a shower or something, and maybe I can help you find a job. What do you say? Ugh, fine. You know, I'm actually glad we're spending some normal time together. <laughs> yeah, me too. Hey, uh, can I borrow something warm, like a hoodie or something? Yeah, of course. My room's the one in the back on the left. You can borrow one out of my closet. Thanks, dude. Dude, you let him in after everything he's done? He just needs some help, dude. It's only for one night. What the? What is he doing back there? Yo, what were you doing? Uh, nothing. Uh, nice to see you too, Logan. I thought you were just getting a sweatshirt. No, <laughs> you got so fat, they're all too big. Empty your pockets. Ew, no! I'm not messing around, Richie. I said empty your pockets now! Ah! Oh my gosh, I should have known better. After everything, this is where we are, huh? This wasn't supposed to be my life, Carl. I am the talented one. I was supposed to be successful, not you. Stop dreaming, Richie. You need to get a job and put in hard work. If you wanted to be a painter, you really should have worked at it. No, I didn't need to. I'm gonna be a rich painter, you'll see. You better never come back here ever again or I'm calling the cops, bro. Fine, I won't. They think they're better than me? <laughs> These artists are nothing. I'm the best, and I'll make sure everyone knows it. I'm gonna take these paintings and put mine here instead. And then I'll sell these and make a ton of Robux. I'll be rich and famous again. What the heck is going on? Ah, you! Uh, this wasn't supposed to happen? Get back here, you loser! Oh, I can't get caught. Not like this! Uh, ah. Ugh, I hate running! Stop, you criminal! Uh, Carl, I, I need to talk to you. I'm sorry about everything, okay? What are you doing here, Richie? Everyone knows what you did. It's all over the news. It's just so I could get a few Robux, dude. I thought maybe I could hide these here. Uh, what are you doing? Yeah, 911. I found the museum thief. He's downtown on West Main Street. What the heck, Carl? You can't do this. Yeah, actually, I can. Ugh, you again. <laughs> I knew you'd end up here eventually. You should have learned the first time, you loser. Carl, please, you have to save me. Richie, you need to save yourself. You can't keep fixing your mistakes, and I'm not going to baby you. I'll be here when you learn how to grow up. All right, loser, you're coming with me. It's time you face your consequences. You know, this is an incredible day. <laughs> I couldn't agree more, Dad. All right, guys, let's go. Uh, let's go? Where are we going, Edgar? You're not going here. That's for sure. Get lost. Wait, what? This is my house. Not anymore, Dad. I just sold this man our mansion. Uh, yeah, for the million bucks. What? <laughs> you sold our mansion? Edgar, what is wrong with you? Oh, guys, just chill, okay? It's for a bigger and better mansion. All right, this is the place. Edgar, this is a shack in the middle of nowhere. What did you do? Well, that guy said if I gave him a million dollars, he'd take our mansion and we would get a better one. Dude, you'd call this better? You just got scammed. Ugh, guess like dead. So essentially what you're telling me, Edgar, is you gave our $10 million mansion to a random man? I guess. Unbelievable! It's just a house, Dad. If all you're going to do is blow our family's fortune, you need to get lost, Edgar. What? Whoa, Dad, what are you talking about? Edgar is getting kicked out of this family. You no longer belong here with me and Teddy. Get lost, Edgar. Fine. <laughs> Dad, are you sure this is absolutely necessary? Of course it's absolutely necessary, Teddy. I think it's high time your brother learned the hard way about spending his money. Okay, if you say so. Hey, you, bank idiot. I need your help. Oh, hello, Mr. Clarkson. Good to see you again, as always. Yeah, 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 whatever. Listen, I have an emergency. I want you to take all the money out of Edgar Clarkson's account immediately. All that money? Yes, and I want it in cash. That's like uh, over a million dollars. Hand it over. Oh, okay. Here you go, sir. Well, this should be enough for us to buy a brand new mansion. Dad, I don't know. This doesn't seem right. I really don't know how Edgar's going to react when he finds out he doesn't have any money in his account. Teddy, do you think I care right now? We don't have a home. Yeah, one second, Dad. Hello? Yo, Teddy, are you with Dad? Edgar? Yeah, I'm with Dad. What's going on? Look, I really need your help. Oh man, this sucks. They don't even have room service here. You're free to go, kid. What? Really? Okay, why? I don't know, someone paid you bail. 
Teddy? Oh, thank goodness, man. I'm so happy you're here. Edgar, what is your deal, man? What are you talking about? Why did you try to steal? Well, what else is I supposed to do, man? Dad won't give me any more money. And when I tried to use my credit card, the guy said a word I've never heard before. Declined? What does that even mean? Dad closed off your account. That's what it meant. He's not going to give you any more money until you learn how to be responsible with it. No, that's so stupid. It's my money. I can do whatever I want with no, it. No, actually, it's Dad money. So what? He's our dad. He gives you money from time to time. I'm responsible with it. I don't go spending it on some scheme that loses our entire mansion. If you can prove to dad that you can use your money wisely, he'll let you back into the family. Everything will be fine. I just want to spend my money. It doesn't matter. It's so stupid. I don't see what the big deal is. And that's your problem, Edgar. I can't believe how Edgar's been this week. He can be so insufferable sometimes. Now he wants me to meet him here? Like, what's going on? Yeah, here he is right now. Hey, Teddy, what's up, dude? Edgar, what's going on? And, uh, who is this? Uh, this is my new friend, famous race car driver, Ryder Hall. I'm Ryder Hall. Okay, Edgar, I have never heard of Ryder Hall. I'm Ryder Hall. What is this about? Well, my friend here, Ryder Hall, wanted an expensive car for his race next week. The prize is a billion dollars, and Ryder says that he'd give me some. Really? That sounds pretty far-fetched. I haven't even heard of a race or a prize anytime soon. It's very exclusive. You'd never understand. I'm Ryder Hall. And I told him you had like one of the fastest cars around. No, Edgar, so... no. That is absolutely out of the question. I'm not giving my car to some random stranger. Ryder Hall. I don't care who you are, man. I'm not giving you my car. Teddy, being so annoying and uncool. I'm trying to do what I can to help the family, okay? Well, if you really want to help out the family. Okay, sure. Yeah, he can use my car. Awesome. Pretty sweet, huh? Ryder Hall. It's one of a kind, super fast, super expensive. So what do you think of the car, dude? I think it's perfect for me to steal. Uh, what? Later, suckers. I'm Ryder Hall. Oh, Edgar, my car, man! Edgar, I cannot believe you did this, man. Do you have any idea how expensive that car was? With all the modifications I recently got for it, $100 million top. Whatever, dude. You don't need to be that upset about it. It's just a car. Just a car? Teddy, I need to get to work, don't I? Whatever. You can ask Dad to buy you a new one. That's what I did. Well, Edgar, unlike you, I don't ask Dad to give me whatever well, I want. Well, you should. It's pretty cool. The only way to live your life. You are unbelievable. Teddy, I got a call. You're late for work. This is our family business. What is wrong with you? Well, I'm sorry, Dad. Edgar got my car stolen. Dude, really? You didn't have to tell oh, him. Oh, yes, he did. Unbelievable. You know, Edgar, this is exactly why we kicked you out of the family in the first place. You need to do better, or else you'll never live with us again. What? Fine. I don't want to live with you guys anyway, because you suck. Ugh, your <laughs> brother is so spoiled. Come on, Teddy. Let's go to work. Yeah, hold on, Dad. I'll be there in a bit. Fine, whatever. I've got a business meeting to go to anyways. Dad and Teddy are total jerks. Why don't they understand me? I mean, I just love spending my money. Hey kid, couldn't overhear that you were uh, rich or something? Well, I don't have pocket change for you, okay? Just get lost. Oh, I'm not asking for pocket change. Give me all your money, kid. Yeah, right. Get your own, loser. Loser? <laughs> Guess we'll have to do this the hard way. Oh, uh, no. Oh, thanks for the money, idiot. So, did you find him? Nope, couldn't find him. He's gone. Dude, he took all my money. What am I gonna do now? I don't know, man. I'm really sorry about this. I called you so you would help me. Now you're not. This sucks. Great. Now what am I supposed to do? Where am I supposed to sleep? How am I supposed to have my eggs benedict in the morning? Listen, Edgar, it's all good. I have some money, and you can use that to stay in a hotel for the night. Really? You do that? Because otherwise, I'll be sleeping on the street. Yes, man, of course. You're my brother. Thanks. I appreciate it. Don't tell Dad, okay? Where on earth is Teddy? He told me he'd meet me here at 9.15, and it's 9.17. Uh, hey, Dad. Edgar, what the heck happened to you? You look terrible. Well, I got robbed, Dad. You got robbed? Yeah, I had some money on me, and then a guy took it, and he beat me up. Edgar, I I'm so sorry. Dad, this sucks, okay? I want me back in the family. Stop crying in front of my office. You're embarrassing me. Look, you can come with me. I'll get you some new clothes, and everything will be fine. That'll make you feel better, won't it? You take me to the Supreme store? Yes, I'll take you to the Supreme store. 
Now, Edgar, I'm giving you one chance to do this right. You got it, Dad. I could do this, no problem. You know I built this company from the ground up without any money, right? Whoa, without money? That must have sucked. Well, of course it sucked. Hey, Dad. Edgar? What what are you doing here? I work here now. What? Dad, what is he talking about? I hired Edgar as one of the managers for the corporation. Oh no, Dad, that's not a good oh, idea. Oh really? You want to tell the CEO of your company that you work for what to do? Look, Dad, I'm just trying to look out for us, okay? And I really don't think giving that much responsibility to Edgar is a good Well, it sounds like you're super jealous. Edgar, you don't know the first thing about being a manager. Dad, don't you see? You're just enabling him. He's going to abuse the company's money. I just know Teddy, it. Teddy, I'm still the owner of this company and it is my decision to hire Edgar and that's final. Yeah, you heard him. That's finale. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this, man. Well, Teddy, you can either deal with it or quit the family business. Well, it's fine. Whatever. Welcome to the team, Edgar. I can't believe that dad would give Edgar a manager position. Like, that's insane. Wait a minute. Who's Edgar talking to? Yeah, here you go. Thanks for supporting my business. Anytime. <laughs> Edgar, what was that about? I was just making an awesome investment for Dad's corporation. What kind of investment did you give him? Well, I gave him like a half billion dollars to help. You gave half a billion dollars to some random guy again? Oh gosh, Edgar, what's the business even called? It's called the National Broke Society. Duh. Edgar, you're an idiot. You got scammed again. No, I did it. It was legit. I think. You think you gave half a billion dollars to some guy who calls himself the member of a National Broke Society, and you think? <laughs> I thought it was a good idea. Dude, now dad's company has lost half a billion dollars. What are we going to do? Everything's going to be fine. We're rich. We can make that money easily. Dad like makes it in a We're day. We're not going to be rich for long and it's all thanks to Whatever, you. Whatever, Teddy. You're so lame. Theodore Clarkson, I have a very important conversation to have with you right now. Oh, no. What's wrong, Dad? As of right now, you are being demoted to janitor. Demoted to janitor? Why? I didn't do anything wrong. You don't think spending half the company's funds without my permission is doing something oh, wrong? Oh, no. I knew this was going to happen. Dad, it wasn't my fault. Ah, don't even begin with me. Do you have any idea how long it takes to get that kind of money back from this business? Dad, you're blaming the wrong person. It wasn't my fault. Then explain to me why. Edgar came to me crying the other night telling me about how you did it. I've been working with you for a long time. Do you really think I would do something that irresponsible? I didn't think you were capable of it, but now now I don't know for sure. Dad, you're a smart guy. Think this through. He sold our house. He sold my car. He's going to sell the company. Oh my gosh. You're right. This was your brother all along, wasn't it? I told you, he didn't learn his lesson overnight. You've got to do something about this, Dad. Oh, I will. All right, so we've checked Gucci, Louis Vuitton, and Supreme. Are you sure he's here? Oh, of course, there he is right there. Edgar Clarkson. Oh, hey, Dad. Hey, Teddy. Did you guys want to sit and eat? I just ordered some more food. Oh, really? And how do you plan on paying for that food? Uh, with money that you give me? Edgar, I am done with all of this. You are fired from the family business. Wait, no, why? Why am I fired? Teddy was the one that gave that money away, not me. Edgar, I know it was you. Dad, you can't do this. What am I supposed to do with my life? You need to figure it out. That's what you need to do. I am your father, and what I say goes. This isn't fair. Fair. Teddy, this is all your Edgar, fault. Literally everything you have done up to this point has been your fault. For once, quit being so stubborn and learn from your own mistakes. Learning is stupid. I'm done with both of you. You guys suck. And you're a greedy, spoiled brat. No, whatever. <laughs> Well, this sucks. I'm homeless again. Well, I guess for now, I have to stay at this homeless shelter. Hey, you homeless idiot. Get out of the way. Hey, watch who you're talking to. Why should I? Because this spot is mine now. This is my spot. Why should I give it up to you? Do you have any idea who I am? I'm Edgar Clarkson. I'm one of the richest people in town, and I do whatever I want. Now, get out you're of the so way. You're so rich, then why the heck are you at a homeless shelter? I don't have to tell you anything, all right? Exactly. You don't have to tell me nothing. You don't even have to talk to me. Get lost. I have nowhere else to go. It's not my problem anymore. You're a spoiled brat. And if you don't want a knuckle sandwich, I suggest you start leaving. Fine, whatever. This sucks. What if I made a mistake? 
Well then, we finally got ourselves a new mansion and it's pretty nice. Yeah, I had to kick out one of those YouTuber influencers or whatever. But this place has three pools. Figured it'd be worth it. Dad, are you okay? You seem off. Just been doing a lot of thinking, Teddy. You know, about your brother. What if I was too harsh on him, you know? Dad, you weren't harsh on him at all. He deserved 100% of what he got. He made the right decision. I just don't know. I mean, he is your brother after all. Yeah, I know. I care about him a lot, but he needs to learn his lesson. Oh, uh, that must be one of the new butlers. Doors open, come on in. Edgar? Edgar? What are you doing here? Well, I came to just apologize to you guys. Really? Do you even know what apologizing means? Yeah, I'm sorry to both of you guys. I've been super irresponsible, and my spending habits were, like, out of control. Completely out of control! I know, I know! And I realized that money's not everything, okay? It took you this long to realize that? And I didn't have anything. I realized the two things I wanted the most were you guys. I'm really, really sorry. And I just want you to forgive me, that's all. Edgar, look, I forgive you. Well, Zane, what do you want to do today? I mean, we can just kind of hang out and use the swings or something. I don't know, Michael. I'm starting to get really sick of this. Sick of what? Being an orphan and being poor. I thought we were going to have better lives than this. Yeah, I know. I thought we were too. But we're here now. There's nothing we can really do about it. Yeah, but all the other kids have been adopted too. We're like the only ones left. Listen, don't worry about it, okay? I'm your older brother, and I'll make sure I take care of you. You promise? Yeah, Zane, I promise. Ah, good afternoon, boys. It's nice to meet ya. Oh, good afternoon, sir. Um, are you looking for the caretaker here? Because I think she's inside or something. No, no, of course not. I've already spoken with her. I'm looking for you two. Looking for us? What happened? Are we in trouble? <laughs> no, no, no. Not at all. I'll be adopting you two today. Wait, is this some kind of joke? Are you serious? Ah, uh, boys, by all means, it's no joke at all. I've always wanted to have two amazing sons. Oh my gosh, wow, this is wild. Yeah, Michael, I can't believe it. We're finally getting adopted. Hey, boys, how's it going? How are you liking the new place? This is absolutely incredible. I just want to say thank you so much for everything. We were honestly thinking that no one was going to adopt us, so this is kind of a lot to take in all at once. Yeah, this is crazy. <laughs> well, you boys look famished. Would you guys like something to eat? Um, if it isn't too much to ask, yeah, that actually would be really nice. Oh yeah, I'm starving. Perfect, that's what I like to hear. All right, well, you boys can choose whatever you want. You can get anything and everything you could desire. Wow, really? Incredible. Um, well, I've never tried sushi before, so I'd like to try some of that. And maybe get like a really, really big Italian sub. And maybe some pizza too. Oh, and french fries. You've got to have french fries, right? Uh, Michael, that does seem like a lot of food. Well, Zane, I'm really hungry. Yeah, I'm hungry too. Um, can I just get like a ham sandwich or something? Maybe a bag of chips along with it. That would be enough for me. Fantastic choices, boys. I'll go call now and get it delivered. Oh, thank you so much. Wow, this guy is really, really rich, Zane. This is kind of crazy. Yeah, it does seem like he kind of spends a lot of money, huh? Yeah, and I can't wait to eat all that food, too. It's going to be so good. Michael, why did you even order all that food? You know you're not going to eat it all. Yeah, well, I just wanted to see how far he would go to make us happy, you know? Well, I mean, he did just adopt us. Don't you think that's kind of overkill? Zane, you're being just a baby. Come on. Oh, yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah, now I can't wait to have sushi. Oh, this looks so cool. Zane, what do you think? You like it? Yeah, Michael, that actually looks really nice. Yeah, this is great. Now we're out of those poor, stupid clothes and we're in nice fits, man. Y yeah, that's really nice. But why do you keep going for just the designer clothes and why are you getting so many? Dude, our dad is rich now. Don't you understand? Money isn't a problem. We can do whatever we want. Yeah, but maybe we should just tone it down a little bit. I mean, I don't want our new dad to just think we're taking advantage of him. Zane, stop being a baby, okay? This is the chance of a lifetime. We should be using this opportunity to be way better than any of the other kids. At school? At the orphanage? Anywhere! I don't know, Michael. I just don't feel right about it. I feel weird. I don't want to take advantage of our own dad. Sure, we have money, but that doesn't really mean anything. Zane, you are so little, you have no idea. Money means the world, okay? It's everything. I don't know why you're acting like this. I don't know. Maybe you're right. I'm your older brother. I am right. But anyways, I'm out of here, dude. I'm gonna go buy some more stuff. Okay, can I come with you? Well, not if you're being a party pooper. Why don't you just go somewhere else? Okay, fine. 
Hey, Michael, what's going on? What's up with this new car? Well, Zane, Dad just bought me this brand new car. What? You've got to be joking. This thing is really expensive. <laughs> yeah, I know, man. Well, I just came home and I was like, hey, Dad, I really want to get a car. It'll be a whole lot easier than walking. And Dad was just like, of course, not a problem. And he just bought this for me. Do you have any idea how cool this is? Now we can go anywhere we want. Yeah, I guess that's true. But you asked him for a car and you got this one? This is a lot of money, Michael. Yeah, well, our dad is super rich and he likes spending money on us. So why won't you just let him spend the money, dude? I don't know. I mean, he can spend the money if he wants to, but I think we need to start acting a little more grateful, you know? Maybe we start doing some more chores around the house or something to make up for it. <laughs> You're kidding, right? No, I'm not kidding. I think we should really work for this money and show our dad that we're not taking advantage of him. Wow, Zane, I had no idea you were such an epic loser. Michael, what are you talking about? You know what, man? I think your whole attitude has just changed. And you know what else? I don't think there's room for you in my car anymore. What are you talking about? I'm only going to drive around people that appreciate my car and don't think I'm taking advantage of my dad. How about that? Michael? Zane? See, you're acting like a big baby. Just shut up. Whatever, I'm going to go for a drive and clear my head. Well, can I come with you? Absolutely not. Michael, come on! Hey, I like your shirt. Oh, hey, thanks. Um, that's really sweet. Hi, I'm Zane. Hey, I'm Alice. Where are you from? Where'd you transfer from? I've never seen you before. You're new, right? Yeah, me and my brother are new here. We just got adopted, so we moved into town. Uh, it's really nice to meet you. Oh, how cool. Nice to meet you, too. Yeah, school's awesome. Everybody here's awesome. So I could show you around sometime. Oh, wow, that'd be great. What? What is that noise? Hey, guys, what's up? Oh, my gosh. Hi. Um... Who are you? Hey, what's up? My name is Michael. This is my lame little brother, Zane. Yeah, this is my older brother, Michael. <laughs> you guys are brothers? But you just got out of that helicopter. How does that work? Well, our dad is like super rich. Oh, wow. Your dad is super rich? Whoa, that's really cool. Yeah, I think so. Zane doesn't though. He's totally lame. Hey, you want to go grab some sushi or something? Who, me? Yeah, I'd love to. I love sushi. All right, awesome. Why don't we get out of here and leave this poor lame kid behind? <laughs> yeah, sounds good. What? What is going on? <laughs> I can't believe Michael's acting like a total jerk. He's been ignoring me all because of this money he's been getting. I mean, yeah, it's nice that our dad is rich and everything, but... I feel like Michael's really taking advantage of this. And he's totally changed. He's not the same brother I used to know. He was never this mean to me before. And just things would go back to normal before we had all this money. Hey, kiddo. Is everything all right? Oh, hey, Dad. Um, not really. Can I talk to you about something? Of course. Always. What's going on? It's Michael. He's been acting so weird ever since we got adopted. He's been going around and spending a lot of money, and he's totally changed, and now he won't even hang out with me. Oh, Zane. Well, that's no good. You guys are brothers. You guys should always be there for each other and spend tons of time together. Yeah, that's what I thought, and that's what we always used to do. But things have changed now. Michael has completely changed. I'm really sorry, kiddo. You guys should be looking out for each other. I'm sorry that he's not doing that. Well, it's okay. I just wish there was something I could do. Maybe I could say something to get through to him, but I don't even think he's listening to me anymore. Well, don't you worry at all about it. I'll have a word with him. Really? You will? Absolutely. Now, how about we do something fun? Why don't we go to the zoo? Ari, actually sounds kind of cool. I've never been to the zoo before. Let's do it. Michael, what's been going on? I've been hearing from your brother that you haven't been paying much attention to him. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know why Zane is acting like so weird. He's being super annoying lately. Annoying, hmm? Well, your brother's been telling me that he really misses you being around. You guys should hang out more. 
I would hang out with him if he wasn't so lame, Dad. He just keeps crying and complaining all the time. You're supposed to be there for your brother no matter what. He's your family. Maybe giving you this car wasn't such a good idea. Oh, uh, what? What are you talking about? No, giving me this car was an incredible idea, along with all the clothes, the video games, and the helicopter. My life has been incredible! It's great that you feel like your life has been so fun, but you're forgetting about the people that matter. I think that this is changing you, not for the better. Oh, Dad, you're being completely lame! Knock it off! No, son, I'm sorry. I don't think I'm being completely lame. I think that you need to be taking the bus, and we need to put a spending limit on you. You're forgetting what's important. A spending limit? You've got to be joking. Yes, and I'm serious. You need to clean up your act. Whatever, this is so stupid. You have no idea what you're doing. You're ruining my life. Oh, that's it. I'm out of here. Oh, this is so stupid. I can't believe Zane. He would go to dad and just cry about everything, making me seem like the bully. All I'm doing is having fun with the money that my dad is giving me. Is that so difficult? Is that so wrong? And all because Zane is crying because he doesn't want to do it means that I have to suffer without money? That's not fair. You know what? I should just go get my own money. Maybe I'll just go borrow some cash and sneak out of the house before anyone sees me. $1,000? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is the move. Can't wait to go buy something. A little retail therapy will do me good. Oh, Michael, where are you? We always get ice cream together on Fridays after school. This is weird he's not showing up. I mean, he's going to be spending money? So why wouldn't he show up? It seems to be his favorite thing to do anyways. Oh, I'm starting to get a little nervous. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's my dad. Hey, dad, what's going on? Son, have you seen Michael anywhere by chance? Um, no, I'm actually waiting for him at the ice cream shop. We usually meet here, but he hasn't shown up yet. Is everything okay? You sound worried. Someone broke into the vault back at home. All the money's gone and Michael's nowhere to be found. What? This isn't good. What if something happened to Michael? I don't think it's about what happened to Michael. I think it's what Michael did. Oh man, maybe I should go find him before something happens. I mean, he could get in a lot of trouble. Of course, it's absolutely important we find him. I already called the police, they're searching for him now. Well, maybe I can find him before the police do, and we can straighten everything out. All right, Dad, listen, I'll talk to you later, okay? I gotta go find Michael. Michael, are you here? Michael, there you are. Ugh, what do you want, Zane? You here to ruin my life again? Um, no, actually, you're doing a pretty good job of that yourself. What are you talking about? Dad knows that you took the money from the vault. Uh-oh. Yeah, uh-oh is right. He called the cops, dude. What? Why would he do that? Oh, I don't know. Maybe because someone stole his money. Yeah, I guess you're right. That probably wasn't my smartest move, was it? No, Michael, it wasn't. Listen, I'm really sorry for everything, okay? I don't know what's going on with me. I can't even think straight. I felt like I was failing you as an older brother, dude. What? What are you even talking about? I could barely take care of us in the orphanage, and then once I got here, I just kind of lost it, you know? With Dad and all that money, it was like I could do whatever I wanted for once. I really wanted to live my life to the fullest, you know? Yeah, of course, Michael. We can do that still. We just have to be more appreciative of what Dad is giving us. Think of where we started and where we ended up now. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I really wasn't acting super grateful, was I? Um, asking for just designer clothes and fancy cars and a helicopter? Nah, dude, you weren't acting grateful at all. Listen, if you just spend a little bit less money and maybe start doing stuff around the house, you'll feel better. Yeah, maybe you're right. It's funny that the little brother is teaching the older brother something, huh? Yeah, you're usually the one to teach me what's right and wrong, but I guess the rules are switched this time. Listen, let's just stick together no matter what, okay? And if I start acting like a jerk, just keep me in line. I will try my best. No matter what, we're family. And speaking of family, we have to go talk to dad, and maybe he will call the cops and tell them that everything's fine. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. You think he's gonna be super mad? Our dad is really, really nice. I don't think he'll be that upset, especially if you give him back the money that you took. Well, I spent like 50 bucks on lunch, um, but you think I could give him back the rest? Yeah, I think that'll be fine. Come on, dude, let's go home. 